Uh, we like. Uh, we like. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. And I just finished adding long arm inserters to this build that we made ages ago. And I forgot to finish properly. Uh, so now we have heat shielding at LDS again, which we were supplying from Nalvis, but Nalvis has been asleep for quite a while now, actually. Although we've still got quite a lot of iron and copper ingots. Entire... Uh, several trainloads of uh, rare metals. Still got actually quite a lot of heat shield and LDS here. So that's good. Um, but yeah, uh, Nalvis hasn't been doing Nalvis things for a while. Not in the train network anyway. So it's just as well we caught that relatively soon. And we were just about done setting up the automation to resupply our outpost on Granis. Uh, so that it can send us back sweet, sweet uh, Vulcanite core fragments. Which it looks like we've already got enough of. Uh, we've got almost enough here to fill a train? Uh, to fill a cargo rocket? How much am I requesting? 11k. Well, it'll... It'll get here before the uh, cargo rocket fills up, I think. As soon as we actually get the cargo rocket sections. That's what we were last working on. So, I do have the mall building cargo rocket sections. Um, we can only do that so fast here, really. And I was just designing a... Oh, that's right. Oh, I, I was going to do this off stream, but I didn't have time. Uh, I was designing a butt build for cargo rocket sections because the sheer number of inputs and intermediate products is a bit much for belts. Um, so we've shaped this so that we can use regular beacons or a wide area beacon. Um, and now all that's left is to uh, set some requests and play with some ratios a little bit. Hey, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so it's not going to be... I'm going to put like 25 Logibots here since the tech level of the bots on this uh, surface is much higher than we've got to try and approximate how much sort of throughput they have. But I think... Um, uh, I think considering how slow... Uh, these builds are, it should be pretty easy, actually, to have bots supply these things. We'll see. So, uh, let's go over our inputs here. We need iron plate. Um, we need iron gear wheel. I do have a couple of machines spare. I could maybe make the iron gears here. But I don't think that's really necessary. Um, we're making the inserter parts here. We need single cylinder engines. Could we stop with the flashing until I... Let me just pause it. Oh, that doesn't actually help. Um, power. All right, stop flashing until we're ready. Okay. Uh, we need small electric motors. Oh, automation cores. We're not actually... We're not actually doing those in the rail network. What do small... Uh, what do automation cores uh, require? Sticks, gear, and copper plate. All right, so I'm just going to say copper plate because we've already got everything else here. How... what's our rate like for automation cores here? Let's see... We need exactly two machines doing that. For a zero ratio. And that's gonna stick... 
game to relax. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, that's going to mean we're more. We're going to need more iron sticks, actually. We've got one machine left blank here. If we're going for double um, cargo rocket section out of this many machines. That's a lot of zero or very slightly positive ratios, though. I like that. Um, iron beam is negative, but we only need iron beam for the storage tanks, I believe. Let's see. Iron beam... Doesn't get consumed here. Or here. It's, it's literally just this machine. Which is faster than necessary. Um, storage tanks are almost four times as fast as needed from one machine. And this is going to keep it going at about uh, a little... Hmm, let's see. 2.083 over 0.625. Yeah, one third exactly. All right, cool. So the, the iron beams are definitely going to be fast enough. Um, how's that ratio looking? I think that's pretty much perfect, actually. Mike Clatt, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic, indeed. As always, on time. Thank you. I'm a little flustered today, but I am on time. As you can probably hear in my voice for now. Um, so let's see, we need iron gear, single cylinder, copper plate, uh, we're gonna need small electric motors, steel, green circuits. This is starting to add up to be a lot. Um, anything else? Iron plate, we've already got. That we've already got. Um, we're making the fast inserters here. We need advanced circuits. And heat shield LDS RCU. Bloody hell. Okay. Red circuits. Heat shield LDS RCU. Uh, heat shield. LDS. I'll see you. At this rate, I don't think I can cram this many... Oh, yes, I can. I can cram this many inputs around our test input just barely without doing any fancy circuitry. Alright, that'll do, I guess. And all I'm going to do is have super inserters shove these in. Willy-nilly. As long as there's a stack or two of each resource, uh, it'll have room for its own input. Okay. That's the theory, anyway. Come to think of it, I don't think we've got that many different resources. No, we don't. In the purple chests. Unless we've got different things in the purple chests. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. There's only six different things in here. Oh, that's not working the way I had in mind. All right, let's just see if we end up getting everything. Oh, oh, storage. Oh, I didn't think of that. O okay, okay. You can stop now. You, you can stop now. All right, all right, fine. We'll do some... We'll do some fancy testing input. See if I care. Did you know that T-shirt stands for Tyrannosaurus shirt? Indeed. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're gonna just replace those. 
Uh, let's see. Unloader goes here. And I'll have to do... I think I'll have to read from the logistic network for this test input. So, RoboPort... Um, active provider chests. And I'll just have to have x is less than y for each of these. Um, let's see. Circuit wire. What? Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, read from logistic network. Iron less than... I don't know, 100? And I'll change all of these to the requisite item types. Writing testing code is not a waste if we catch any bugs. And it's not a waste if we don't catch any bugs, because we'll have peace of mind. Okay, and rocket control units. Alright, so we should have just a little bit of each of the primary ingredients in the robot network. And for some reason we got triple, but I'm okay with that. Okay. And then we just need to request iron plate, iron stick, iron gear. Actually, I think I'll set it so that, like, the ingredients for one recipe are up here, and the ingredients for the other recipe are down here. Um, so that's going to be iron stick, iron gear... And then single cylinder inserter parts. Hmm. I should probably have set this up so that we do some direct insertions sometimes. No, there's going to be too many exceptions. Uh, single cylinder engine inserter parts. And that's going to be the same over here. And then uh, this one needs small electric automation core. I don't have the, uh, the cores yet. Iron plate, iron stick, iron gear wheel, that's actually the same so far, and then copper plate. Are we not didn't, didn't we have gears? I guess we're not putting them in fast enough. I'm gonna have to change all of those. Well, some of them anyway. Actually, I should probably set those to, like, one train load each to be absolutely sure that we have the storage space. Whatever. Um, let's just make sure it works first. Alright, so small electric automation core. Automation core and burner inserter. And this one needs yellow inserters. Uh, electronic circuit, yellow steel. And steel. Alright, this one obviously needs iron. And nothing else, actually. This one needs iron and iron beams. Where's Iron Beam? 
And this one needs small electric pipe and steel plate. Small electric pipe, steel plate. Oh, we're actually, there's like one assembly machine blank here in the end. Well, it's fine. If the ratio is going to be really nice, then I can live with like one machine missing out, if that makes sense. I could double up on iron beams, but I'm sure it's not necessary. Would you need logic on output inserters from assemblers? Uh, probably yes. Definitely yes. Uh, all right, let's start with, uh, sticks, gears, and copper plate, and then a whole lot of other stuff. Wait, we're actually going for three? Oh, that's even better than I thought. So we're getting a whopping... Uh, 7.5 cargo rocket sections per minute, times 2, 15. So that'd be what, um... Less than 7 minutes before a whole cargo rocket can launch from one side of this. Seems good. I should set it up so that the, uh... So that when this doubles up, we share the chests in the middle. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need LDS. Uh, RCU, cargo pod. Fuel tank. And heat shield. On this one, and then uh, same thing down here, except let's make that a stack, at least. Wait, what did I set this to? Yeah, that makes sense. 50, 10, 10, 10, 50. Wait, wh where am I setting it? Down here. And we also need... Oh boy. Advanced circuit... Oh, which one am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advanced circuit pipe. Advanced circuit pipe. Uh, storage tank. And pump. And I hate that we don't end up copy-pasting these, because they don't quite line up the same way. Uh, let's see. That's gonna end up being... Nope, never mind. Alright, so let's see. Advanced circuit iron chest. Advanced circuit iron chest. Uh, fast inserter, and I think it was steel plate. LDS, these three things in a row, and heat shielding. Uh, is this one already done? It is not. Wait, why did I... Did I leave this one half finished? Alright, this needs... Event circuit pipe... Why is that upside down? I must have done it before or something. Okay, event circuit... It's gonna drive me crazy if it's not, like, organized. Uh, fast inserter, steel plate, uh, 
Oh, I did this backwards. Again. Pipe. Uh, storage tank pump. And then... Advanced circuit iron chest. We've got advanced circuit already. Iron chest. Uh, fast insert of steel. Okay. Products finished zero. What's missing here? Advanced circuits. Oh, did we not bring... We've definitely got advanced circuits here. There we go. Alright, so products finished on the cargo rocket sections is probably still zero. Nope, it's two, so some of it's working at least. Uh, this one doesn't have... Let's copy from this to start with. Oh wait, that's the same. Yeah, it is. Cool. We did find one we could copy-paste. Uh, is that all of our inputs? I think so. So why doesn't this have anything? How's storage tanks doing? Uh, theoretically, we should be going fast enough with storage tanks. Um, net rate of storage tanks is... Uh... 3.33 times. And it bottlenecks on the iron beams, but uh, 1, 2, 5... Wait, what? Maybe I misread this earlier. Okay, let's try... Let's try adding iron beams down here, even though that's a little bit messy. This is why we test. Uh, it does look like we... have a little bit of a shortage. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I'm requesting too many at once, so it's just taking a little bit to saturate some of the, uh, some of the chests here. But I thought I had it figured out that um, even though th on paper we didn't have enough uh, iron beams, we have way more than enough storage tanks Okay, not as much anymore. Doubling the iron beams is probably suitable. We're actually still uh, significantly behind on iron beams, but the only thing it goes into is the part tanks, and they are significantly ahead. So yeah, we should accumulate storage tanks. It looks like we are accumulating storage tanks. Okay, cool. Maybe we don't actually need these to be active provider chests. Probably. I'll make them passives. And we'll put some limits. Um, how many stacks of iron stick, for example, would be good? I wonder. I don't know. Let's just say 10, I don't know, 20 stacks of any given intermediate product. 
Uh, iron stick less than 2k. This is stack size 100. That can be 2k as well. Um, burner inserter. I know we don't have to go that fast with inserters, uh, so I'll just set those to like 100 or something. Burners less than 100. I mean, any any given thing should have a surplus. It should be fine, regardless. Yellow inserters, fast inserters, and isn't it just one? Uh, it's four iron chests times a hundred, four hundred would make an entire cargo rocket. Let's uh, set that. And then iron beam. Pipe. Uh, storage pump. I mean, storage pump? What? Uh, storage tank. Say 10 stacks. Pumps. 10 stacks. And I think that should be pretty suitable. Copy-paste flip that over here. And then we just need to limit the outputs for everything else except for cargo rocket sections, because that's the entire point of the block. I don't care if that gets saturated. Uh, so, I wish we could make a 3x3 requester chest here, but alas... Um, cargo rocket sections are still going to be pretty slow in terms of single items. Uh, literally 15 per minute. So I think we could probably just set a single requester chest down here. And we'll do the usual allowing short trains to pick it up and it'll rebalance. Alright, so cargo, rocket sections, 48, request from buffers. Uh, and we've already got a few more than I realized. Alright, um, let's copy this over to here. And reposition it so it's in the middle, like this. Fantastic. And I don't think we need the extra train stations, probably. What well, we don't, uh, maybe an extra input station. I don't know. I think the overall rate of products here is going to be relatively slow. Ooh. 131 iron plate per second. We are making beams faster than we need to, but still. Well, we're making a lot of things faster than we need to, so it's a little bit misleading. Uh, everything else is kind of slow. So we'll see how that goes. Worst case, we might add another drop-off station. Actually, why don't we just... Oops, that's wrong. Why don't we just do that to begin with? Um, I'll put active providers like so. And we can have a couple of trains dropping off at the same time if we really need to. I, 
Uh, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to be lazy and make an exception. Oh, I messed this ratio up. Oh, is that why it looks like? No, it, that would have been iron beams. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay. Did we set the limits on these? Um, possibly not. No, I didn't set the auto, uh, the limits on this side. Okay, so iron sticks, uh, automation cores are going to be quite slow, right? Two point five per second is not that slow. It's actually an exact ratio, so we'll just limit to, like, one stack. Actually, no, it's going to be going into... Uh, it actually only goes into yellow inserters, right? So if we only have the one stack accumulated... Oh, it's got to be for the whole network, though. Uh, we'll allow it to go up to, like, four stacks. Automation core, 200. Uh, no limit on the cargo rocket sections. Um, this one is super slow and exact ratio. So we'll just let it go to like 50 or something. I think we're requesting 10... yeah, yeah, yeah. Except it's 10 for each of those... whatever, I'll let it go to like 100. Same goes for this one. And that's unlimited. That goes here. That goes here. That's unlimited. And so on. Alright, so we're going to copy-paste flip that, copy-paste this over here, and we should have logistic network controlled limits for all of the intermediate products. And if we don't, we're going to find out. Okay. Um... Oh, I've, I've at least got my list of resources that we're dropping off at this station right here. Iron plate. Iron gear wheel. Single cylinder. Copper plate. Uh, small electric. Steel plate. Uh, red and green circuits. And heat shield, LDS, RCU. Heat shield, low density structure, rocket control unit. That's an awful lot of stuff that we're dropping off in this one block. I think it might be a good idea to have the double stations, even if technically we probably don't need them. And we are making cargo rocket sections. Okay. And now we need to set requests for all of these bloody things. Um, we can definitely allow short trains to drop it off if we really want to. since it'll all get reorganized anyway. We don't need any fluids. And we should probably look for a couple of train loads of each. So for the plates, it's going to be 16k. Uh, iron gears. 
single cylinder, multi cylinder, not multi cylinder, um, small electric. I think I, yeah, I had these in a different order. Uh, circuits. That's going to be 32k. Because stack sizes. And then... Heat shield LDS RCU. That's wrong. Heat shield LDS and rocket control unit only stacks to 10. So that's uh, 400, 800, 1600 for two train loads. Do I actually do I actually have rocket control units in the rail block? I think I do. Rocket, yeah, here they are. All right, cool. Uh, get rid of item on ground. And we need to compare this with what's in the robot network. For which we just need a single uh, RoboPort. And we can connect that to both stations. Come to think of it, we could connect the one uh, constant combinator to both stations as well. I'll just use a green wire there instead of a red. And that's pretty much it. Should probably have a robo port closer to. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's figure out our power poles. Uh, I think until we put in the beacons, I'm just gonna do it nice and neat like this, and not worry about it. Okay, so that one goes there. That looks pretty neat. And we need a substation here as well. And we follow the same pattern. Fantastic. All right, cool. Not that I think we'll be needing double output stations. Right then. Output station... Uh, short or long trains provide stack threshold 80. Fargo rocket section provider... And I think these ones are already good. That's an awful lot of symbols. Seems good though. Switch that on. And I think that's our build. Alright, let's get rid of the cheap power. Blueprint, snap to grid, 86 Whoops, 86, comma, 24, cargo rocket sections. And that's going to give us a whopping, uh, where are we putting this build? 
way down here, I guess. Uh, I think it was 15 per minute. 30 cargo rocket sections per minute. That's pretty capable, I think, for now. Alright, let's put it into our main save. And... It's got a lot of inputs, but the only one that's particularly fast is iron. So I'd like it to be relatively close to iron, but I don't think we can really pull that off right now. Without treading on an iron mine. I'll just put it over here and hope for the best. See how it goes. It's not impossible to move it. Alright, so now we need our construction train to pay it a visit. Wait for inactivity. And then go back and resupply. Fantastic. Away they go. Do we have tier 3 assembly machines? Oh, or big boxes for that matter. Apparently not. Let's fix that. Assembly machine, I think, goes here. Let's go with... Assembly 3. Say, one stack at a time. And we'll add... I don't want to go overboard and just add every type of chest here, in case we're going to run out of stacks. But I'll definitely add the 2x2s. I think we've already got the strong boxes. Uh, just one stack each. 40. 40. 40. 40. And 40. I know I didn't use all five types here. Alright. That should be here by the time the train comes back. Um, probably. But... Oh, actually everything else is built already. Oh, I have to give it the... Oh no, I have to seed it with logistic bots. We pulled that off over here, but it was tricky. Um... Hmm... All right, let's switch off the LTN requests. And bring our train up here. Oops. We are going to... Oh, that's okay. Uh, we'll keep this switched off for now. We'll do a constant combinator here. We'll request exactly 50 Logibots. Uh, let's do standard requester. Request stack threshold 1. Short train only. Requesting 50 logistic bots. And put down a Robopot here. Oh, actually, I'll use Piccadollies and use this Robopot.
filter inside a... And that should just about do it, actually. Alright, switch that on. There should be a delivery with... Uh, nothing but bots pretty soon. What is going on here? Oh, you're still loading up with copper? Yes, you are. Okay. Where is this going, actually? Oh, it's taking from the mall for all of these, uh... For these big builds. Hmm. I guess I won't allow short trains to drop off bulk items like this. In future, we'll have short trains able to pick up from these two, but when we want uh, big resource drop-offs, we'll do long trains only. Make them all a low priority pickup. I could do that as well. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, priority. Negative one. And more to the point, uh, we're still waiting on getting those bots scheduled. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and put these active providers back. And we'll put this here once the bots have been inserted. Fantastic. Alright, uh, what are we going to do while we wait for that to happen? I don't think there's a whole lot we can do, really. What do we have here? Ten packed cargo rocket sections and 200 media defense ammo on the way. We're looking for... An awful lot of packed cargo rocket sections um, before the rocket auto launches. Unless I pretend that we've got more packed cargo rocket sections on this end, or if I just decrease the request for them for now, um, we're not going to see that launch for a little while. If we didn't lose any cargo... Oh wait, we won't lose any packed cargo rocket sections, will we? Because they are stack size 1. Oops. Yeah, uh, these are actually... the type of cargo that the cargo rockets won't lose. Because you lose a percentage of a stack. Cool. So if I request exactly... Uh... 20 stacks of packed cargo rocket sections, it'll send enough to send a rocket back. And it'll send some other resources as well. Where are our requests for this? Over here? It'll mean it'll have to send another rocket of packed cargo rocket sections relatively soon, but... Oh, 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 I forgot. Oh, no. Um, okay, we can really easily add to this. Uh, hmm. I could put it just, like, here if we wanted it to be in the beacon, but I don't think it matters. We actually want to pack the cargo rocket sections, which is, of course, incredibly easy to add to this build. Because I don't want to actually put regular cargo rocket sections into the rail network at that volume. Um, okay, so... Like this, like this, like this. And 
And do we have those insert uh, assemblers now? We do not. Probably because there's too much traffic for the short trains over here. Let's just send this one away. Also, do we actually have... Why don't we have green circuits? Because there's no copper? Why is there no copper? Because there's no copper. Okay. Uh, where were we getting copper from? I know we had a mine here. That's iron, actually. Uh, down here, we had a copper mine. Uh, we've got a couple over here. We've got a big juicy one way down here. There's one not too far over this way. They're all a little bit far away from where we're already established. Uh, I think I would like to tap this one, though. That's going to be the most copper for the least effort. Just want to see how this fits. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Copper mines, you say. Let's go with this. And does that actually... Oh, it just barely has coverage. Nice. Not over here, though. I also need to add uh, lighted medium power poles to our requests over here. Okay. T -t -t Toby, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, that core seam is going to fit nicely into a future rail block where we only use half of the space, but copper mine, not so much. Let's go with... Oops. Uh, a pickup. Maybe... Maybe over here would be better. Yeah, that looks super convenient, actually. Actually, is that gonna... Oh, we'll just move it over a little bit. And then we're gonna have to redo this. All right, copper mine facing to the right. And over here as well. That should have coverage. Looking good. And then delivery cannon chest. Uh, let's see, probably right about here. I could do it on both sides. That makes it easy. Uh, I'm going to have to copy-paste an express loader that goes into a building. That's where that fits. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, how many belts do we have here? Not that many. And then... Facing up. 
perfect fit. Very nice. And then over here... And over here. Let's copy that. And last but not least, over here. Doesn't quite reach across. That's okay. All right. Now we just need to get our construction train in range if we can. Also, did we get those items delivered? I don't think so, because there's too much traffic with the short trains. In fact, we don't have the bots being delivered yet. Request stack threshold 1. Combinator is on. Short trains only. Only. Logistic bots. Uh, hello? We have the logistic bots? We have 147. Uh, provide stack threshold. I set it all the way up to 10. There's your problem. Set that to 1 for just a moment, at least. I'll leave it at 1 stack and see if that causes any problems. Alright, so there's our bots on the way. And there's actually all of those other resources being delivered as well, because it's each separate stack that needs to reach a threshold. Um, why are we... Oh no. Why do you have stuff in... No, bad. Bad train. Go back to here. Empty inventory and go back to the mall. Must have cancelled something or other. We don't have any trains with stuff in them at the depots, do we? We do. Uh, that's a problem. Please go here, empty inventory, and then go back to the depot. Alright, what are you doing? Just ammo? Alright, that seems to be working, at least. Seems to be working just fine. Alright, did we get our bots up here? We did. Fantastic. Let's turn this off. In fact, let's delete it forever. And then we can turn this back on. And put this back here. And then we just have to go get our... Uh, our items. Empty the train again, just to be sure. It's not as easy to deal with as construction spider-trons, but it's basically construction spider-trons way before we have spider-trons, so that's pretty cool. We'll hear a notification sound once that train is fully loaded, if it has everything that it's looking for. So now we just need to get these, uh, well, we also need the assembly threes, but we need to get these containers here if we're going to have, where are we looking for the containers? Here we go. We do have the assembly threes here already. Fantastic. What's this looking for? Passive... Oh. No, we're definitely setting the requests for them. 
Logistic storage zero. Are they on the way? They are on the way. Fantastic. Beautiful. What? What did? What? What? Why did you not empty your... Bruh. What? Why did that train leave with items? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were supposed to wait till all three of the... Oh. You were waiting for all three of those to be zero. Interesting. Alright, could you drop those items off at the mall, please? That was very strange. It wasn't supposed to be carrying any, uh... Any buffer chests to begin with. It must have had them left over from before, I guess. I'd love to know how we're ending up with trains holding onto items they're not supposed to. Give me that cryonite. Beautiful. Okay, so our train should have... Uh, what is it missing? Nothing? Hold on. Did we turn off alerts, or did I just miss the sound? We definitely heard alerts yesterday, right? Alerts 0%. Maybe that's why. But I could have heard- I could have sworn this alert sound was on a different, like, channel. I could, I could have sworn we heard the notifications yesterday. Whatever the case, uh, let's get our train to build this stuff. And see our build working for cargo rocket sections. Then we need to get some copper throughput. Uh, in a big, big hurry. Packing, cargo rocket sections. Fantastic. And this can ask for literally all of the cargo rocket sections, please. We need to go back for more assembly machines. 47 of them, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, I put it somewhere where it doesn't have path. Um, okay. Could we perhaps... All I had to do was mark that one for deconstruction. Fantastic. Alright, so I want to send it back to... Could you stop? I was going to say I'll send it back here until inactivity, but then it's going to end up looping. I'll just watch this get reloaded and send it on its way. Wait, it's going to end up stuck again. Uh, let's send it to here instead. And wait for inactivity. 30 seconds in case the bots do the weird slow thing. And I think our build is complete. Nope, we're short on... Uh, on storage chests, actually. But that's fine, it's functional. Or is it? Products finished, zero. We need iron plate. We've got iron plate. So we're waiting for the bots to catch... Uh, oh crap, turn it off. El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think we should tell LTN what is in uh, these containers as well as what's in the robot network. Otherwise, we're going to have it delivering just a little bit more than it can handle. Unless we add a lot... Oh, I forgot about this. 
the bots like to pick arbitrary storage locations and then bring everything specifically to that storage chest. So right now they're taking literally the longest path they possibly could to empty what's in... Uh, what's in the active provider chests here. So I'm thinking I should only have the storage chests up the top, actually. But it's a little bit late. Maybe I can get them to fix it. So I'm going to mark all of the existing storage strong boxes as don't use any stacks. And then we're going to put some storage up the top. And I think I asked for two train loads of everything. Just double check that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven resources. We're asking for two train loads of each. Um, each storage strong box uh, can comfortably do one train load. Or if I do four storage chests, that's two train loads easily. Um, so we need four times eleven. Let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, but before I do that. Is that construction track? Is it stuck in traffic? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, well, I need a minute to sort this out anyway. We're going to jump into the editor. We're going to put these storage chests right here. And we're going to filter them by inputs. Iron plate. Copper plate. Um, steel plate. Iron gear. Single cylinder. Small electric green and red circuits. Wait, what? Red circuit. Uh, and then... Heat shield, LDS, RCU. This one's LDS. RCU. And heat shield. Okay. So now when we place this, the bots aren't going to fill it up with something else before we can react. Uh, now we need to bring our train in here somehow, which I think is just going to involve... Is this a short train? No, it's not. I could drop these items off at the mall. That wouldn't cause too much trouble, ultimately. And 
we want our train to park about here. Uh, it's got an interesting idea about how it's going to get there. But it looks like that's actually going to do it. So I'm not complaining. Alright, cool. So the bots should empty all of the existing storages over time. And now all of a sudden our 50 logistic bots are having a much easier time with this. Uh, I think actually while we're at it, I might even... First of all... Oh, wait. Uh, stolen. <laughs> Kinda need this to empty to fix it properly. Uh, what I have in mind is obviously to... Can we do this? That's how I can do that remotely. Face it the wrong way and then flip it. Alright, cool. That's much easier. And we're gonna have... This go here. And like this. Uh, and once these are empty, I'm gonna deconstruct that. And we'll just pass from this chest to this chest. So the bots will have a really short trip initially. Oh. Do we have any more trains coming? We do. Go back to the mall, please. And go back to the mall, please. It is possible we're running out of storage space in the mall, but I doubt it. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Uh, wait here, please. There we go. Hmm. At this rate, it's going to take a while to empty that. Let's do it like this. That'll probably help a little bit, at least. I don't think we've made any cargo rocket sections yet, but I wouldn't really expect that. I think we probably need more Logibots, to be honest. I may have dreamed a little big here for now. Alright, we are getting there anyway. I might have the construction train go build this first. While we wait for that. We have much... how much power do we have? A lot. But uh, that's running off of nuclear power that we're running out of until we get cover sorted. Which is running out of storage space for the U-238. Uh, but the uranium itself... Uh, well, we've obviously got a little bit of it, at least. Doesn't seem like it's running out or anything. Oh, I know what I can do. 
set these to not accept anything new. And then that way we can deconstruct them once the bots empty them just once. Alright, where's our train? Building rail, fantastic. We still have rail here? Oh yeah, definitely. How, how's our Roboport charge? We're, you can see the number of Roboports we've got that are fully charged running out one by one here. But it's actually quite a lot of charge to go through. So I'm not too worried about that. Even though I made a much bigger demand on our train than was necessary here. I just want to see that piece of rail right there get built so that we can move the train up. But the bots don't want to do it. What is this for? Stone provider? Oh, we completely... We completely emptied that stone mine. Alright, let's move up here. Uh, passenger present. We should be able to reach this now. Fantastic. Why are those bots confused? This shouldn't... Oh, that's why. Never mind. I was going to say there shouldn't be any cargo wagons that are full, but that's not true. I'd better turn the train around now, actually, because if we end up not finishing a roundabout, uh, we're going to be stuck. Once we finish this roundabout right here. I wonder if trying to send it back now, it would just no path until it builds that and would automatically find its way home. Whatever the case, I'll send it back for now. Alright, how's this uh, emptying going? Oh, surprisingly quick. Fantastic. Okay. So the bots have a much shorter trip. Well, once they stop supplying the buffer chests anyway. If they're just trying to put things in storage, they have a much, much shorter trip now. And the highest volume of stuff uh, that we need goes up the top as well. I probably could have done a little bit better job of that, like maybe if I put iron beams up the top here, pipes... I could have calculated exactly how much of each primary resource we need uh, in each assembler and could have optimized the bot paths a little bit. But at that point I wasn't thinking about cramming all the storage up here. Okay. I want to confirm that we're still hearing the sound when this is fully loaded. What are we looking for here? The passive provider chests. The strong boxes. Why is it specifically one or the other type of strong box that we have trouble supplying here? seems a bit of a, a little weird well I really want to get this build here finalized so I might just send the train up here first 
and then switch this back on. Hmm. I guess it makes sense, but I kind of expected the bots to prioritize taking stuff out of the active provider chests and putting it into storage. But they're trying to feed the buffer chests as a higher priority. Suboptimal to say the least. We need more bots. Uh, what about swarm safety? That actually requires utility science packs. How many do we have? We're out of efficiency modules because we're out of electronic components. So we need to visit orbit again. Uh, or I could send a custom rocket full of electronic components from the mall. That might be a better idea. Uh, let's see. 50k, I think. Stacks to 100, doesn't it? Electronic components. Do we have 50k? We have 1.8k. But over here, we have... We definitely have 50k. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'd rather just send lots and figure out what resource we need next time instead of spending time trying to figure out the exact ratios of uh, what items to replace here. So we're going to send this to Hagen Orbit, Landing Pad, and I would set this to launch when full, but then it's going to do it over and over again. Initial lag to get the build started, indeed. Oh, here we go. Now that now they're emptying this a lot faster. That's more like it. Alright, where's our train? It is only waiting on those big chests that don't get delivered here very easily for some reason. Okay, I think I've already queued up the last of the changes that I want to make over here, mostly. Cool. And come to think of it, we don't need to read from the robot network if we read from these chests instead. So we'll go... something like... Oh, the train left already. Come back. Come back. Uh, wait until I say to go back this time. Alright. Uh, we'll remove that RoboPort, that RoboPort. And we won't depend on the robot network to tell us how much we've got. I'm not going to do a copy-paste because we've already got... Uh, ...all of our filters set. Alright, I think that covers everything. Fantastic. And we 
can turn this back on now. And best thing of all, we don't have to have the robo network encroaching on other areas as much in case we want to have a robot build relatively close to this. Oh, um, no, I'll wait till these are empty before we come and decon those. Oh, I still don't see a single cargo rocket section though. We're waiting on fast inserters, green circuits. Do we have the green circuits here? I don't think there are any. Yeah, but there aren't any green circuits because we've been lacking copper. We're working on that. Alright, so once the train is loaded, uh, we'll send it back up here. Why are there never any red strong boxes? We're requesting them just the same as everything else. Uh, apparently we don't have any more strong boxes over here. That's probably got something to do with it. Okay. It's just going to take a while to catch up. Uh, meanwhile, we are 10% loaded on electronic components. How much science do we get out of that? We need 5 electronic components for 1 efficiency module. 1 efficiency module makes 4 utility science packs, so 80%. Um, that's not that bad. We could probably switch and send some other resources as well. What are we relatively low on that goes into the science? Uh, hard to say. Oh, that is a lot of space science packs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Do not use that condition. Rocket science pack. No, space science pack. Uh, goddammit. Less than half of this chest, which is 200 times 24, 4800. Well, there's no shortage on whatever goes into the regular science. Or at least, as far as we're concerned, there isn't for a while. Uh, we need cryonite processing units. Still got 1.8k of those. Probably process... no. 1.8k times 4, that's a lot. Copper? No. Uh, glass, iron, silicon, all good. Circuits, circuits, copper. Uh, we could maybe use some more green circuits. Let's go with that. Oh wait, what? This thermofluid input is saturated. That's good. Okay, so maybe... How much is in here already? 11k? And we got another... an, an amount here. Let's set this to like 15k. And then we'll go 32k circuits. And see how much space is left over after that. Maholic? 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you tree, uh, trim the free spaceship down? Yes, I did. Um, just trying to get it to the absolute minimum size to get the most out of the irreplaceable for now ion stream. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't have the green circuits yet. Well, time to get that copper. We haven't fully loaded this in a while. Um, I think I'll stop asking for the strong boxes because we just don't have them for the moment. Probably shouldn't wait for all that landfill either because we don't need it and it's going to mean less room to put stone in that we pick up incidentally. But I wanted to check that the you are fully loaded notification works still. There it is. All right, cool. Let's head back up this way. I was intending to rocket the spaceship with my first rocket. Rocket to the spaceship. Uh, research capsule and then go pyramid collecting. <laughs> Sounds good. I ran into something rather nasty with the pyramid here. Um, we hadn't seen biters until... Uh, the last time we saw biters, there were barely any medium-sized ones. Um, these are all maximum evolution, and I don't have the technology uh, really to fight them. They, they evolve inside the temple, indeed. Uh, I think on Nalvis we can... I think if we look anywhere, it's the same, right? Evolution. Uh, 0.95. Time, 2%. Pollution, 30%. Spawner kills, 69%. They're not happy with me. Alright. What are we loading still? Uh, we're trying to load green circuits that we don't have. I th think I'll change my tactic for the moment. We're just going to send a whole rocket of electronic components. Like I was going to do originally. Oh, it's not doing... It's not building while it has no path. Interesting. Alright, let's change that to... Uh, 60 seconds of inactivity? Yeah, when it's no pathing, it, uh, the bots won't jump out and build. Good to know. Mod GUI is a good mod for that HUD display. Oh, like the evolution? Yeah, I should have just measured out the blocks and then built a bit of straight rail up here. But I was being sort of lazy. Evolution and time and things, indeed. Probably good for speed running and stuff, right? Alright, how's our... Oh no. Why are the bots not moving? We've got electricity. Oh, there's... How did... How is there not enough storage? I calculated it. This is one, two, three, four cargo wagons full. I asked for two train loads. That's one, two, three, four. Yeah. How did we end up with extra stuff? Alright, well, I can fix that. We'll just use some of these big strong boxes until we don't need them anymore. And I'll pick a dollies these nice and close as well. I think you didn't tell LTN what you have with a wire? I did. Look at it. We've got all of these chests 
uh, talking to, oh no, oh the wire is not connected, no, no, <laughs> LTN thought there was nothing here, oh no, um, okay, could you please dump everything in the mall, and could you please dump everything in the mall, and could you please dump everything in the mall? And also, could you please dump everything in the mall? And this, these two as well, I guess? That's a lot of RCU. <laughs> Rip lol, indeed. I don't know if I want to send that many RCUs to the mall, do I? Uh. Okay. At least we have a good way to throw them out of the rail system. Maybe I should have something other than the mall for this. When we have this kind of problem. And I guess the other trains can stay. Uh, let's bring our storage chests over here. Pick a dollies is a good mod. The outlet mall, indeed. Uh, Craftworked, Data Sync, Dodger, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again also. Connect the strong boxes with green wire. Uh, it doesn't matter. We've got more than four train loads of storage for each individual resource in the green wire, and they've got filters. So the bots are going to put things in these chests first. But yeah, that's going to take a little while to sort itself out. Well, we need the green circuits before the whole thing can work anyway. Uh, let's send our train back. Oh, let's wait till we get all of our rail placed back in first. How much rail did I ask for? About this much. All right, there we go. Uh, back to here, please. Inactivity, 30 seconds. And... Oh, it didn't actually reach to make this roundabout, did it? So we'll do that next. I don't think I can... I don't think we have enough reach to build the mine properly. I'm really wishing that I... that I did make the train double header. We'd have to have a bit less uh, storage space in the train. Unless... I guess I could have, like, this whole thing. We, we could have a train that's like... One, two, three, four, five... Nope, it's already about as long as it could be, so that would be three cargo wagons. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be places to park it, really. Well, there kind of are going to be better places to park it, though, because Doubleheader can just turn around wherever. What if I make it, like... Six? So, L, C, 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 L... I would have to move it so that the emptier isn't on the same track as the loader. Uh, but that wouldn't be too bad. Why are the bots not building the rail? Oh. Well, there's your problem. Uh, we've actually been doing enough building here that all of the roboports need to recharge. 
Okay. Maybe I should put... Uh, next, next time I get back, I'll, I'll have it suck power from the main grid instead of this. I mean, we have been doing an abnormal amount of building with our construction train lately, but even so, uh, I would prefer not to have to wait for the roboports to recharge. Yeah, we're going to have a hell of a time reaching the rest of the mine as well. Good morning, Vario. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, we are only what? Only two fifths full, actually, on our electronic components here. Surprisingly enough. Even though we already had 50k electronic components that were ready to be delivered, uh, it just, it does take some time to load this much. Okay. Well, most of the system should be good and saturated by the time we get green circuits here. Just make wild rail to behind the mine and decon it afterwards. Yeah, I could do that. What's this train doing? Crude oil. Crudest of oil. And we are venting... Oh. Did I not... Oh yeah, I added it way up here. So if this whole thing ends up completely full of petroleum, we'll start venting petroleum. It will happen, but it's going to take a while. But totally saturated on solid fuel made from petroleum as well. I could request more petroleum at the train stops here. Let's see. 320 plus 96. Uh, 416 times 50. We could do 20k. Stored at each of these. Before we start wasting petroleum. I think I may have used up all of our steel here because I forgot about turning it into beams. Uh, yep. Yes, I did. Hopefully we don't need any more steel plates while we're here. I could always send some more, but still. Alright, we're almost half full on electronic components. Uh, we're not much more full on packed cargo rocket sections than we were before. That is obviously going to take the longest to get started. Which is why we made this build over here. But that's got its own problems. Okay, we're actually emptying the train. Fantastic. And we've got even more trains queuing up. Now then. Oh, this is kind of painful. Because all of the personal roboports charge at the exact same time, um, it's taking the longest possible amount of time for one of them to reach the minimum amount of power to start throwing bots out. Uh, that's a little bit undesirable. But I don't really want to suck this much power out of the main network when we can just have it for free with the uh, solar panels. 
Hmm. I guess uh, it would be really difficult, but I could have like a little separate power grid here that transfers power to the uh, to the train. That has, you know, a few wind turbines and a bunch of accumulators, I suppose. You could set up coal mines in the meantime. Um, I could. We're not going to be able to support that many coal mining drills on this planet for now. But since we're going to power manage them like this, uh, it really doesn't matter. We can kind of go ham on that. So let's see. Where do I want this? Probably about here. Let's get rid of these ghosts. And... Up here would be best, I think. Trying to line it up properly. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's slightly beyond where the center would be. Yeah, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Can I move this back one? Do we have room if we do it like that? Not that I ever want to expand too much on this planet, but just in case we do. I need more rail. Uh, you know what? Give this back. Hopefully we'll have enough back here. Let's see. Rail. We've got a lot of rail in here. Modded Factorio goes more mind blown. Indeed. Mid Jaggers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this for red resources? Uh, yeah, we need Vulcanite from this planet. So that we can make productivity science, which is the third tier of space science. Alright, we're going to put a drill down here. We're going to automate it with... Uh, we're going to automate the power management by having an accumulator. That's going to go here. Just like we did here. Um, I'll have to go pick one up, actually. Should probably just carry a stack of them already. Accumulator... goes here and we want to stop if accumulator charge is not full oh i forgot to get the drill as well whoops uh, but everything everything else should be set up as needed Let's grab ourselves another drill or two. Oh, um, 
Um, but if we don't actually have the power to support this, then more drills is actually bad. Because the diminishing returns kick in just by having the drill placed. Um, so I'd need to place a bunch of... I think I need to place a bunch more solar panels. Although, we did efficiency module up these, uh, atmospheric condensers and such. So we're not paying quite such a ludicrous amount of power for our liquid rocket fuel. Oh, we're out of iron plate already? Well, the we've already got the automation set up to bring us iron plate eventually. Um, what about our all-important copper build up here? We're still waiting for this? Bruh. Oh, that's not gonna cut it. I mean, it's my fault for demanding way more of the construction train than was necessary up here, but still. We're just waiting on... Uh, let's see. I can't see how many there are. Um, three, six, nine, eighteen, nineteen? I think nineteen personal RoboPort Mark IIs, supported by five times 192 kilowatts. Uh, and they're just trying to charge up to the minimum power amount before the bots will be spat out again. They've already charged up an enormous amount of energy between the lot of them. But, yeah. I don't suppose we could get copper from Nalvis or something. Uh, that's going to go into the rail network. Not really. I do have copper ingots. I should probably make use of those. Uh, we've got copper ingots in the rail network from Nalvis. We just need to, like, turn them into plate and make them available. Okay. How about... Oh, but I can't even turn the construction train around to go and build this. Alright. What we're going to do is temporarily expand our robot network over this way. And I'm going to add a unloader here for copper ingots. And then we're going to put copper plate in here from those. Uh, let's see. How fast would we need them? Copper plate is 45 per second. Assembly 3. We've got such a machine here with speed modules that we can't replace right now. Copper plate from ingots. Uh, 10 per second, so we would need 5. Where should I put this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Unloaders, like so. Actually... Delivery cannon chest would make a lot of sense here. And then... Like this. And like this. And... This is copper. Copper plate. So we could just do something like, like that. Except then it's going to make these two imbalanced, right?
Do we not have the assembly machines? Oh, I think they're coming. Alright, so... If copper plate... Equals zero... We're going to let the copper plate through from here. And... Substation... Then we just need to make this a requester for ingots. Uh, where's my requester station? There it is. Why are they not building more assembly machines? You're kidding. We had one? That's... Unfortunate. Uh, how about... How about we donate some of these for the moment? Yeah, I think we've probably got enough... Uh, Steel beams for now. Oh, and media defense installation ammo for that matter. Okay. So we're looking for... What is it stacked to? 50? 50. So a couple of train loads of that. 16k. Oh wait, I think 8k would be a couple of train loads. Yeah. Alright. Ingot. Copper ingot going into assembly machines to make green circuits. Okay. I am the sky, Larius. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Too much rail? Is there such a thing? Uh, nope. It's also because you use rail too much if you distribute rail into other wagons too. Yeah, but it's a, it's just kind of a pain if we like try to spread out all the different resources across... Uh... across different cargo wagons, but it's probably worth the trouble. Okay. Uh, passenger present, move over here. And we could get just the tip of the mine working at least already, it looks like. Is that going to have power? It is now. At this rate, I might have to make a little loop so that it can turn around. Oh, it's no pathing? Wait, I thought I set it to... Passenger present. Oh, I see. Okay, that way it'll actually do things. Fantastic. We could probably move it down here as well. How much rail do we have? Plenty. So if I move it to here, we should get more of that mine built, I guess. But we're going to have to wait again for the roboports to charge. How has it used this much energy? Really? Bruh, bots are so thirsty. Are you kidding me? Maybe I should have run it off of, uh... Off of nuclear power, like mine. Your copper assembly output has no power. Copper assembly... Do you mean the ingots? Oh, on this side. 
You can charge it at the restocking station. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I might make a separate power network so that we're not sucking enormous amounts of power from the main network and going through our uranium faster. But uh, I would definitely like to use the Tesla charging system for this. Your rail was cut off up here. Yeah, um, it's in... Uh, it's in range for the bots to build this rail, and we do have the rail. It's just that we're already out of energy for the bots again, which feels ridiculous to me, actually. Okay. So copper ingots should be working. I don't know why we're only now getting a train coming. Oh, no path? Oh, well there's your problem. Alright, bot should be bringing that over now, and away we go. Alright, so that's going to give us green circuits for quite a while. We've got um, 25,000 copper ingots, which is going to give us uh, 10 times that. 250,000 copper plate. I don't think that's going to run out that quickly. Yay indeed. D-Hose, welcome, welcome. Remelak, welcome also. Okay, good to see green circuits again. Very good to see green circuits again. Uh, I was going to say they're getting made rather quickly, but actually this was probably almost full already. What's our rate once this saturates? 30 per second? It's not... it's a start. Copper is too slow? I'm pretty sure I calculated it. Uh, we're getting 50 copper plate per second from here, from only 5 ingots per second. And we need 45 copper plate per second for the green circuits. So that'll be fine. Oh, wait. Hang on. We need to use the entire belt, don't we? Uh, okay. In that case... I might need these to be stack inserters. And we're going to do three on one side, three on the other. Oh, and then this is bottlenecking on half of red belt. God damn it. Uh, mm, I kind of hate to do this because the whole thing should be temporary but I think we should merge it properly Alright, let's get rid of this nonsense, I guess. And do a splitter right about here. And bring it in down here as well. Probably what I should have done in the first place. Could you feed into the bulk unloader? Uh, I could, but this'll this'll have le a fewer throughput issues without changing this build. Okay, so that'll definitely saturate. I'm pretty sure. Ah, 
I don't know, we need exactly 45 per second though. Which is the entire blue belt. So I really should be using unloaders for this. Inserters are really sketchy for trying to fill up a whole belt. Um, Alright, fine. We'll, we'll merge it all properly. Splitter. Like this. And wait, don't do that yet. Actually, saturate the belt. Cool. What stands for LCCL when it comes to train design? Uh, locomotive, cargo wagon, cargo wagon, locomotive. So, a train that's this shape. I don't think you'll get a compressed belt without having a bit of buffer between the inserters, yeah. Nairon Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. RF Holloway, good to see you again also. And uh, Demon BM. Did I miss anything in chat? I think we're pretty much good. This whole thing is temporary. The lies we tell ourselves in Factorio, indeed. But at least this quote-unquote temporary build is not going to be one of those I am the investigator and the murderer things later on. At least I hope not. All right. That is a saturated red belt, actually. Oh yeah, 30 electronic circuits per second. Nice. Don't forget to add... Don't forget to add? I do really like your rail block design. I'm still using 1-4 setup. You might switch to yours even if it's left-handed. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go to the trouble of swapping... Swapping to the side that feels intuitive for you, by all means. I think all you would have to change around is these two, right? So that... Wait, no, because... Because with... One of, the, one of the reasons I like left-hand drive, other than it's what I'm used to because Australia, is the rail signals on the straights are on the inside. So they're not... Uh, they're not, like, sticking out and taking up more space, if that makes sense. Still waiting on these RoboPods to charge, just so our train can go home. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think... You know what, I'm just going to do it in the laziest way possible for the moment. Um, we're going to stop loading the train here. And I'm going to try getting the construction bots. We're going to have to order a locomotive. Request stack threshold one. Okay. Whoops. No, 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 not 53. Oh God. Don't send, don't send a hundred locomotives. Okay, 
that should get it to deliver some locomotives and using the robot network I should be able to deconstruct this uh, cargo wagon at the back. I'll replace it with a locomotive and then our train won't be able to get stuck. Well, it'll be a lot harder to get our train stuck, let's put it that way. Oh, we're already... No, we're not. Uh, this drill is powered. It looks like the accumulator charge is full. If... Oh, I did this backward. Whoops. That should be... Uh, A is greater than 99. Or greater than 20%, I guess, is fine as well. Alright, that's not going to matter very much. It's going to be saturated by the time we want to launch a rocket. What's our rate? Uh, only 12... Four fragments per second, so a bit more than half a stack. We've got a core fragment seam down here as well. I stole the design and made it right-handed. It's the only thing required, as far as I can tell. <laughs> required? Wow, okay. I see how it is. Uh, let's get a block over here. And I think we'll do a pickup right about here. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. And I'll actually steal from myself again. Always be stealing from yourself. And or others. As far as designs go. It's up to you. Alright, so we need a substation. We need an accumulator so we can tell if we could sh sh if we should shut this off uh, based on power problems or just avoid power problems. And we want to load this into here. I'm also short a bulk rail loader. And I set this to A greater than 20, right? Would you say that Crastorio gave Factorio much more replayability? Uh, well, I've only actually... Okay, I played Crastorio 2 up to a point with a friend ages ago. We didn't get that far because... Uh, I don't. He, he just didn't put in the obsessive... Factorio hours as much. Um, but the only other time I've played Crastorio 2 is this playthrough. Um, so I actually haven't sort of, you know, played Crastorio 2 to death or anything like that. Um, I do really like some of the stuff Crastorio 2 adds, although it does make the early game a bit more obnoxious, shall we say? If you don't want an extended burner phase, uh, it might not be for you, or at least maybe you want to cheat some items just to make the start quicker, or something. I endorse theft generally. <laughs> Fantastic. I stole the design. Yes, yes, yes. The required part was about the signals, although on second thought I'd also say right-handed was also required. Uh, Zork Blatt, morning, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. K2 is my favorite overhaul mod, I've played several rounds, nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing around with the combat over- oh, this didn't copy the circuit wire. Um, I'm looking forward to playing around with the combat overhaul stuff, whereby the shield generators actually create walls that block biter attacks entirely. 
Which means we could have a spaceship that's like a fortress when it lands on the ground. So we could have a really cool battleship. Still waiting on this uh, RoboPort recharging. It's getting close. But I think once the bots jump out, it's going to be empty almost immediately again. Wasn't your first SE also K2? Uh, no, it was just SE. Captain True, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I just had the idea to check if this image generation AI knows a Factorio reference. Probably. It can Google these things, right? Well, it depends on the AI, I guess. Alright, let's have a look at how we're going on... What's this flashing? No storage. Uh, okay. Wow. We over overfilled more than expected. Alright, I guess I will tell LTN what's in these chests as well, just to be sure. Alright, are we getting green circuits delivered up here anytime soon? How's that going? I think we've had a delivery here already. Oh, how's this thing going? It's completely full. Let's go. Uh, 50,000 electronic components to Hagen Orbit for science. And I'll hold off on loading it up with anything else until I know exactly what's needed. But uh, that should get some of our researchers done. Beautiful. Oh, it's unloading the cargo rocket sections first. Alright, there's our efficiency modules, and each one of those is going to be for, uh, for science, basically. Fantastic. We only need about 10 to finish uh, rocket survivability. Just imagine driving a highway with traffic lights in between the direction. In between the direction. Is that a distinct robo network? Why not get a signal from RoboPort instead of wiring all the chests? Um, I was actually going to move... I, I was going to set it up so that these chests were all of the storage um, for the primary inputs. But... We sort of had a little accident where, even though it sort of looked like it, these wires weren't connected. So the trains sort of brought way more than it, than they needed to for a couple of resources. Um, so I'm just temporarily having some of these big chests that I was going to not keep in the build. Um, so that's why those are there. Um, but yeah, we're basically just waiting on green circuits over here now. 32k is about to be hit right here. Uh, wait, 32k was the old long train. This is 16k. Yeah. It's a train load anyway. Hopefully that's going to the new build. It is going to the mall. Feels bad. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, I could maybe do another drill, I guess. It's hard to get a feel for how much is too much. Because the drills aren't running continuously. Because they're just saturating really quickly. 
because we're not sending the core fragments back yet. Uh, where are we going to put this one? Probably here? Like that. And steal from myself again. Hopefully this time it'll include the wiring. Seems good. Oh, I need... I'm out of... Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. Ah, too slow. I need bulk rail loaders, actually. Why don't we get the auto crafter to make some before I get back? There we go. Still trying to make rail. Oh, the memory cell still has rail in it. Okay. That should build ten of these. There's our research. Beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, I do have this set to only refresh every 30 seconds. Which, I have my reasons for that, but sometimes it's not as desirable. Do we have no iron plate? Oh, no. Um, well, I could send some, or I could just mine some. That might be easier in the moment. Do I not have a furnace on me, though? Oh, I do. There it is. Iron plate. Get some power over here. And... Then we need to put that into a chest. I don't really have a... There we go. This is slower than I thought it would be. Okay. Could have done that a while ago, actually. So I literally just need one bulk rail loader, I think. Uh, I only have ten iron plate on me. Oh, I need, like, six more. There we go. Actually, that only gets us one, doesn't it? Rip. Alright, how's our build on Hagen looking? What was I looking for? Uh, looks like the bots are calming down. How many bots are here? 50. Oh, there's only three in motion. Okay, that's cool. Uh, where's our train? It still hasn't built? Come on. At what point is there enough electricity in the roboport that it stops complaining? Lots of fun toys with these mud packs. Indeed there are. Can the big space assembly machine make all the things? Why not use that in your make all crafter? Uh, oh, you mean cheese it and put one on the ground? With, like, spaceship floor or something? You could do that. Maybe I will do that, honestly. I feel like space exploration should just give you some... some much stronger assembly machines that will work on the ground. Um, because you end up with, like really high, even with beacons, you end up with some really high uh, machine counts for certain builds to try to keep up. I don't think you can build space stuff on the surface. Yeah, uh, some things you can, some things that belong in space, you can put them on the surface by using spaceship floor or something. 
But uh, I don't know if it'll let you do the recipes for the things that go in space, though. We go. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Owen Morin, welcome also. I think you have another tier of assembly machine for the ground might be from K2. Sounds good. Oh yeah, it was called like Advanced Assembler or something. That was for Chemical Plant. Advanced Assembly Machine. Cool. So it's the next tier up. It takes electronic furnaces as well. Does that mean it can do smelting as well as like assembly machine stuff? Advanced. Advanced assembly machine. We need material science pack two, so that's going to be a little while. I think we only need material two for space elevators as well. Space Elevator. We need Energy 1, Astro 1, and Material 2. So if we're doing all the tiers together in order, uh, we you could say we only need Material 2. Uh, what about Spaceship? I think that's like Astro 4, right? Where is Spaceship? There it is. Astro 3 and nothing else. Don't even need prod science, actually. Okay. Uh, let me go pick up this iron before I forget. It's only 215, actually. Alright, so that's our... Uh, whatchamacallums... Our bulk rail loaders. On the new planet, do you need to use a new ID for LTN? Uh, no. You mean like a uh, encoded network ID or something? LTN can't schedule things through different surfaces, so you don't need to worry about that. It does mean that LTN can't schedule a train to travel through um, the space elevator. But we have ways of using the space elevator. Even if we use LTN stops. We can make a stop that works as both a vanilla stop and an LTN stop at the same time. Accumulator can go here. And, oh, that's slightly in the way. Can we fit the, yes we can. All right, blue belt, uh, accumulated charge has to be greater than 20. And it's night time and we just placed this accumulator, so that's not going to trigger for a little while. But we've now got, I think, one, two, three, four, which is the equivalent of two times the first drill that we put down. Uh, 17, four fragments per second gives us about a, a little bit less than a stack per second. Uh, hopefully we can support that. Let's see, 290 megawatts at peak? I think we can. Quite easily, actually. Although a bunch of it has to go into... 60 megawatts most of the time has to go into media defense. Even so... 75 me Oh yeah, we're not trying to run the other one. Hold on. Is it actually costing power to run this drill? Is this not doing anything? Is this actually sucking up 25 megawatts even though the output is blocked? Uh, it looks like the answer is yes. 
but we but we placed four drills, so it should be a hundred, if that's the case. Oh no, it's actually three that are in motion, because the first one's saturated, so it does work to to minimize uh, power consumption. To just block the belt. Okay, cool. Are you using normal solar on this planet? Yes, it's the closest planet to the sun, so a little bit better than Nalvis. It's actually only 12% better than Nalvis uh, on the face of it. We have very short nights as well, but very frequent. Um, okay, how is our train looking? Finally. Uh, it did empty these first four roboports again, just to build that. Uh, let's send our train back to, uh, the loader. And I'm gonna get rid of the cargo wagon at the back, so that we can have a train that's a double header. Um, so I can stop worrying about exactly where I place the train, and we can just lead the train to this point here, so we can build all this. Uh, did we get our locomotives? We did. Fantastic. Encoded ID 1 on the copper mine. Uh, good point. Good point. So we've got encoded network ID 1 on... I haven't actually placed this yet. I should probably make a blueprint for it, huh? How about we have... Pick up, pick up, and then requester? Let's go to the editor. Hold on, what? Didn't I just rearrange this a little bit? Or was that... Somewhere else? Did I not just do this? All right, so we're going to say uh, create copy, and I'm going to do standard pickup finite, finite resource. I'm going to rename it so that we can see the name uh, clearly. Let's put like an or or something to make it clear. Uh, so we're doing the same thing as the standard pickup station, but this is for finite resource. Encoded network ID one. And this way I don't have to remember which is which. So select new contents. Fantastic. And I'll just double check for the fifth time, or the seventeenth time. Uh, we are in fact doing encoded network ID 1 for finite resources, and we're doing encoded network ID 2 for a drop-off uh, for items that come from core fragment processing. Um, that we theoretically might have to trash eventually. Uh, so encoded network ID 2 for the drop-off means we never take iron ore straight from a finite resource to this drop-off, which eventually, if it fills up completely before it gets taken away somewhere else, uh, gets turned into landfill, and if that somehow fills up one day, uh, we're going to throw that into the crusher as well. Okay, so here we're gonna have finite resource and connect this like so. Now we're gonna get our train. Where's our train? Uh, whoops, I forgot to remove the temp stop and it came back here. 
he did in the K2SE book. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's copy this. I wonder if... Hold on. Does that have the stack thresholds from the old playthrough? Whoops. Oh, I can see it here. Yeah, uh, provide stack threshold 80. No, that's this playthrough. That's for two wagons. Alright, so our train has come back. Uh, could we please remove this cargo wagon? And add a refueler down here. And a locomotive, like so. A locomotive, like so. There's definitely locomotives in this network, I already checked. Why are the bots not placing the locomotive? What is this? Can they just not add it to an existing train or something? Uh, they can, they can remove a cargo wagon, but they can't place another one. They place the cargo wagon, no problem. Why won't they place the locomotive? Come on, baby, do the locomotive. Um, where is the locomotive? I, I want to see that it's in, like, storage or something. It's right here. No wagons in the train cargo? What do you mean by that? We've got locos right here. Okay, um... 255155. I'm just going to have them remove the entire train and see if we can't fix it that way. Can we not just... There we go. It's going to waste a little bit of fuel, but what can you do? Oh no, I see the problem. Oh, I should have realized. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, okay. Alright. The, there's no actual construction bots in these robo-ports. That's the problem. That's... The, there's your problem. Okay. They, they actually... They actually kept all the stuff that was in the grids, weirdly enough. Thankfully. Okay, so we need to put a locomotive... Hmm. Let's go to the emptier. Yeah, we need to put a locomotive into the train. Um, before we do that... Let's empty this. I'll turn off all of these combinators for inputs. Okay. And I want to put exactly one locomotive in here. never again. Uh, I lost the color on the train, that's weird. I remember. 
155. Okay, cool. And now, since we're not trying to build anything... Uh, if I empty the train again... We should be able to switch these back on. Uh, maybe not these ones. And get exact counts of robots. And can we not get this... Oh, we don't have a burner inserter. Uh, I'm pretty sure. We have 150 available. We're just not putting... We are putting them in the train. It just hasn't got to it yet. Is it now one too short? Uh, I'm going three cargo wagons. Um, because that's what we can fit in blocks like this. Also, it's just going to be easier in the meantime. I might change, because I'm going to have to change the whole loading area if I make it any longer than that. Um, so I might change that later. Then again, I haven't been using up that much space in the cargo wagons, so maybe I'll just shuffle these around a bit. Like, put some of this stuff in the other cargo wagons. We're just doing drills and miscellaneous. Um, let's put drills in, I think, this cargo wagon. Say 50. I don't think we're going to be able to do this in one trip, though. We need 122. Jeez. Okay, at least just this once. Let's do three stacks of drills in this cargo wagon. And now I think we are ready to go and try to build this aggressively. Wait for 60 seconds of inactivity and then come back. It would block sometimes the rail, yeah. Like, I could make it longer and maybe... But, but like, we're better off placing it somewhere where it's able to get onto the nearest roundabout anyway, right? Then again, maybe it doesn't matter as much now that it's double header. The other thing, though, is that I would have to go to the trouble of... Uh, changing the layout of this whole loading system. That's much better than having to worry about where the train is actually placed, though. Even if it has less capacity, so what? We'll just have it do multiple trips. So then it's going to hit inactivity, it's going to go back to... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. But I've actually got a system in place already to sort this out. Um, it's going to hit 60 seconds of inactivity. It's going to go back to uh, the train emptier, which it doesn't have a path for, really. Oh, because it's too long for this bit. Oh, no. Um, Alright, drastic measures. Temporary rail signals. What's the range of the train-based roboports? Uh, it's a lot if I put in, like, 20 roboports. Okay, so the copper ore is going to get dumped 
here, it's going to be put into the robot network. And anything that doesn't belong in this robo network, uh, specifically requested, is going to be put into this requester chest. And a vanilla train is going to take it back to the mall. Won't have enough range to do a whole block now, though. Uh, doesn't really need to. It, like, I can just have it park at one side and then the other side in the worst case. And we can see that we just made more space in the train while the bots are on the way back. Okay. Um, I think I might send it to the emptier for... I don't know, um, let's say 60 seconds of inactivity, that should be, that should be long enough for the bots to get back. So the bots will get put back into the robot network. But that's fine. Okay, how's our iron up here? That's more like it. Let's drop that into the the mall. Will the bots not run out of power before making it back? If they do, they're just going to go a little bit slower. Uh, 60 seconds in activity is probably enough. Pro probably. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> um, 10 minutes. I'll remove that condition later. Okay. Now then, do we have any green circuits here? We do. Beautiful. So that means we're making inserters, which means... We're making uh, cargo pods, which means we're making packed cargo rocket sections faster than expected, actually. I mean, the whole build obviously has some flaws, but it's still basically working. It pretty much just needs more robots, I think. Yeah, we've got 50 Logibots struggling to do their thing here. Um, but yeah, we've already got almost 80 packed cargo rocket sections. That's actually sort of faster than I thought it would be, viscerally. Which means we're going to get our 500... Uh, to send to Grenis, uh, relatively soon. Sorry to ask again, do you really would have to change the train loader and unloader when you add a locomotive? Um, so if I make the train longer, um, like, I could go as far as even something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could go for like seven cargo wagons, but the different the different locomotives are actually different centers of where the bots come out of. Um, and it would make it a bit more awkward to fit the train in the rail network without disrupting other trains while it's building things. Um, so I, I think it's probably better, considering the size of the rail blocks, if we stick to three cargo wagons. It also means I don't have to go to the trouble of redesigning this. Well, not redesigning so much as just, like, reshaping it. Um, yeah. Thanks, you're welcome charges. Yeah, I can't actually do that until I physically go back to the planet myself, is the thing. I can't remotely tell bots to change what's in this power armor grid. Unfortunately. 
But yeah, what I'm thinking of for charges is we could actually have this thing on its own power network with plenty of accumulators. Uh, like, and a bunch of wind turbine spam. So it's not going to drain from the whole power network aggressively when it recharges the uh, robo ports. Okay, so what, el what else are we doing in the meantime? I think that's basically it for now. Oh, is this mine actually working? I did see copper ore. Yeah, uh, it is totally working. So that's 6.6 uh, 6 million copper. I think we can count on that for at least five minutes. Um... So we should get our packed cargo rocket section. What's going on here? Uh, oh, it put the cargo rocket. Oh, no. We had exactly one train load here. And then it put all the cargo rocket sections... Uh, the packed ones into the trains and 30 per second got pushed this way. So now we've got like most of or a significant chunk of what was supposed to be in this cargo wagon in the first bulk loader. That's a little bit of a whoopsie. Is that, is that going to happen everywhere else where I've tried to make this work for either short trains or long trains to pick up? I could simply set the provide stack threshold higher to prevent this, but like, that's kind of sort of the same problem except that we won't have a train waiting here. You can limit it to one slot. Hmm. That's not the worst idea, considering considering it's the stack size of literally one. Like, maybe not necessarily just one, but I could limit this side to far fewer slots. And it's still going to load... Like, because 30, 30 per second through here is actually really, really fast. Like, it's most... It, it 30 per second is this many. That That's how much gets transferred per second by this red belt. Should have made it yellow. Or maybe a long arm inserter. I could make it a long arm inserter that only works if no train is detected. And we... Hmm. I think I could do this now, actually. Except there's going to be a few uh, sections sitting here all the time. Um, so we're just going to go read stopped train and nothing else. And I don't think the T signal... Well, the T signal isn't going to get here anyway, but I don't think it would mess with anything. If T equals zero, then we're allowed to push this through. Insert a stack size one, two, yeah. Well, actually, these have a stack size of one, so even a stack inserter would only move one at a time for these ones. I could just turn these around for the moment as well. There we go. Okay. I don't mind that too much. We'll get a handful of uh, cargo rocket sections stuck here, but... Is our train ready? Not even a little 
it? It is actually. I don't think the bots are drifting back still. Research is still chugging along. Very good. Very cool that we don't have to physically visit orbit to make that happen now. In fact, uh, with this system that I built, I could use exactly this logic to resupply everything we need for space science into just one cargo landing pad. I think I'll do exactly that. We just need to make sure we have enough storage space. Um, but we just figure out what all of the basic inputs are that we need to make the whole thing work. And we set, uh, we set a target of an entire cargo rocket for each resource. Uh, and we use some um, signal transmitters and receivers to subtract what we've actually got from that target up here. And uh, the cargo rocket will launch when full. You can send rocket only if pad is empty. Uh, it does that implicitly, whether you want, whether you like it or not. Um, if, if you have a single item in the cargo landing pad, even though it has 610 slots, uh, it will actually not send a rocket automatically to this cargo landing pad. You can send it manually, but uh, as for automated rockets, this has to be empty. Skashman, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, all right, I wanted to send our construction train, which is loaded, up here. And we're going to change this to a, uh, a long arm inserter. So that we're not going to have like several stacked cargo rocket sections just sitting in this thing. Because they're a little bit precious for that. They're a little bit expensive, a little bit slow. All right, and then if no train is detected, you may push items from here to here. Seems good. And considering how slow the whole thing is, I don't think we need this inserter, actually. All right, cool. So now we're going to go back to empty the train. I should probably redesign the stuff that we're putting into the train to leave a bit more slack so we don't leave bots hovering like this as often. I abuse that mechanic to have a signalless delivery system, indeed. Yeah, I was actually really disappointed when I found that the first time because... I was trying to do a complicated multi-rocket system um, that kind of implicitly counted on that not being the case. So that was less than completely desirable. Green circuits are not having much trouble lately. Oh, beautiful. Very good, actually. This should probably be blue belt. Because for some reason, not that, it, not that it would matter, it'll still summon the train. But it's probably better if we can fill this up a bit faster. How is the mole not replacing this? Wait, we have no blue belt in the mole? Seriously? Because we have no steel gear wheel. Because we still have not much steel. Because we haven't done another coal mine. Did I just forget to do the coal mine? No, there's a coal mine right here. Uh, why are we not... Oh, 
Oh, the coal mine is basically empty. But why is this not... Um, that was never set up right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, okay. This goes here, I guess. But already we're out of coal here anyway. This is only 1.3k. That's a problem. Um, let's set this to inactivity. Where, where else are we going to get coal from right now? Other than the trickle that we are getting from core fragment processing. And I do mean a trickle. Hmm. Oh, there's a coal mine right here. But I didn't do it with the construction train earlier because this would be kind of difficult. Uh, if we only had a single header. But not so much if we have a double header. In fact, pretty easy, actually. Alright, let's go... Mining Blueprint, go burr. And then we just need to do all of the inputs. We just have to face it away and then flip it around is how we can do this remotely. Right, so we got three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. That's not going to be a problem. And this one. This one goes here. And last but not least, this goes here. Beautiful. I love the way the delivery cannon chest snuggled in with the bulk rail loaders makes building these outposts a breeze much neater as well. When zooming out, should there be stars visible? Uh, I don't know, should there? Awesome cat, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Masslander, what are the buildings you're placing between the loading stations? Uh, delivery cannon uh, chests. Why? Because they're three by three, that's why. And if we place, uh, if we place a chest touching any of these corners, um, the bulk rail unloaders or loaders will interact with them automatically. You can see the invisible inserters indicated by these yellow, uh, yellow things, just like with regular inserters. Um, so the, so this is, this is a really clean way to auto balance this. It does have a speed limit based on your stack size. So if you need to go really fast, you should use loaders instead. But other than that, um, I absolutely love it. Can you set train to wait for signal? Uh, yes. Yes, we can. Do you mean this one? What signal would we want to have it wait for? What are you thinking of? Right, let's go up here. And wait for 30 seconds in activity, and then go back and empty and reload. Thought so, was just confused as to why they were needed, but they are just the right size for the job then. Exactly. Yeah, it's the only 3x3 chest we have. Alright. Let's build this entire mine. We need some power still. 
actually just a medium pole is going to be fine there. All right, Cole's back on the menu, boys, and or girls and or so on. Uh, is this working? There's a single underground belt missing. Seriously, Ravna. And we're probably not getting... Do we have any over here? We're actually out of blue underground belt. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 there we go. Um, why don't we just use a red underground for this one? Probably should have made the entire thing out of red belt, to be honest. Wait, it's not too late. Uh, red belt, go, except some of the undergrounds aren't going to reach, so I'll have to add some more. Like this slot, and probably here as well. Did we use all the red undergrounds as well? Whoops. Uh, how about we don't replace that one, and, oh, I didn't know you could right-click to, wait, 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 I didn't know you could right-click to downgrade with this, that's very helpful. Uh, is this one okay? There we go. Wait, 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 no, 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 bad, bad. We'll make those ones blue since we don't have that many reds on us. And this one blue as well. Okay, there we go. Seems good. So now we'll actually get some steel, which will mean we'll produce blue belts again. Uh, it's only 319k. Where else can we get coal? If there's a coal core fragment planet in this system, I should make it a priority. I think we've got iron and copper, surprisingly enough. But not coal. There's a lot of coal on Granis. I could send it back. And I do mean a lot of coal. I could probably just have another cargo rocket right here. Would be a good way to do it. Yeah, I think I will do that. 1.8 mil, 5.9 mil... Uh, 6 mil, 3.5 mil. Yeah, that's going to carry us a bit longer towards being able to get it from more reliable sources. What is that? Oh, that's a, that's a different looking mountain configuration on the map. The spice is flowing, indeed. Coal station needs a combinator and exit rail, indeed. Uh, our train is still here because it's no pathing. Oh. Oh. That might make it a bit more complicated. I hope our train can fit up here. Otherwise I might have to send this one back. Uh, unfortunately, if it's no pathing, it won't actually place... Uh... place items and we need finite resource combinators and I'll set this to coal apparently there's some more stations with this name somewhere which is a bit bad I think there's more trains headed for this one yeah um, 
I want to rename that because I don't like when we end up with a station with a default name and we can't tell where our trains are going. Let's turn off this combinator for a sec. Nope, there's another one scheduled already. Okay, remind me in like five minutes or less. I need to rename that one. Okay. So we got that built. Aziz Light, Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. All right, I'm going to hope that our train can turn around if it goes here. Otherwise, we're in a little bit of trouble. It's going to get filled with stone. Yeah, it can definitely turn around. Get out of there. All right, cool. And we're already picking up coal. No path. Oh. Oh, no path. Yeah, oh no. How's the... Oh no. How's the construction train going to get here? Bonk indeed. Alright, could you please just... Go back... Oh, crap. Uh, please just go back to the mall. And please just go back to the mall. And the answer is no, you can't go back to the mall because... The signaling. Oh, this is going to be harder to fix than I thought. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not sure what to do here. If I could manually drive them backwards, this would be very easy to fix. I think I just need to remove, uh, temporarily remove enough of these signals. And it should be able to path back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're gonna crash into each other if I'm not too careful. Okay. That wasn't as difficult to fix as I thought it might be. So now we're going to cancel deconstruction on all of these. And then we're going to get our construction train, which is fully loaded, uh, to park up here for a bit. rearrange this signaling here. Probably get rid of that one. And this can go here. I think. And just cut that into pieces. Alright, that should probably be fine. In order to get it to go home... Uh, let's make a temp stop here, actually. No, temp stop. Yeah, temp stop with no wait condition. It'll go there and immediately turn back. Maybe just build one roundabout at the top? That might not be the worst idea. Don't think we can comfortably fit it, though. Alright, cool. So now we can turn these stations back on. Oops. And I just remembered to... rename and switch 
this station back on. Pop the ore provider. And go. Fantastic. Okay. There should be a train scheduled here in about two seconds. There it goes. Fantastic. Oh. So that's copper and coal sorted out uh, for a good while. Can we get another coal mine on this planet though? Before we divert our attention? I think the answer is not really. We, we, we're going to have to look a bit further. Quite a bit further. For any serious chunk of coal. Yeah, I'm going to set up coal coming from Grannis. Has that worked out coal mine been cleared up? Worked out coal mine. Do you mean this one? Uh, it's actually empty already since I fixed it, yeah. We've got less than 40 stacks here available. Okay. I think I might take a little break here. And hopefully when we come back, that's a good chunk of cargo rocket sections, but with the way this is automated, um, it'll take forever before we send this rocket. I think I'll come back, see how many cargo rocket section packed we have here, and just momentarily drop our requests for that until we get a rocket launched. Um, and I'll set up... Do we have another... Do we have another one of these? I don't think we do. What does it take to make one? Processing units, big electric motors. Uh, we might have enough already. Where's, where's my... Where my PU at? This chest here. Processing unit, big electric motor, steel chest, concrete. Okay, so a lot of concrete and steel. I think we need to send another cargo rocket. Um, I'll set this for 25k. Oh, it's actually iron, concrete, and steel that we need here, although we are making iron. How much steel do we even have? Not that much, surely. Because we just got it back online. Hmm. Oh, you know what would be better is if I just send the cargo rocket section, uh, the cargo rocket silo itself. That might be a bit easier. But we need to think of some other things. Hello? Hello? What? Why are we not loading... Cargo... Rocket silo? It's not even because we don't have them. The request isn't filling them. If I set this to iron plate... Huh? Oh, it's not ready to launch. That's why. We don't have enough cargo rocket sections yet. Okay. Um, I think... I think I'll add packed cargo rocket sections to the request here, and we'll stop making them with the autocrafter. Could you send construction train on a chartered temp route once it fully loads and charges and you have a memory cell active? Um, I could, but I actually want to 
have it sit here until I give it an order. Is the thing. Alright, let's request... Uh, I don't know, exactly 40 packed cargo rocket sections. Oh, this is a pack, uh, not an unpacker. Unpack. Cargo rocket sections. And we want... Well, probably all of them right here, actually. Uh, keep going until cargo... Rocket section is a hundred. Cool. So we should get packed cargo rocket sections delivered here. I think. Once there's 40 available. Oh, I need to set the provide threshold lower. Unless we want it to get to here before it triggers a delivery. Which is good if we're allowing a long train. Uh, it looks like we're short on steel. That's going to take a while. Okay, I'm just going to momentarily drop the provide threshold here until we get a delivery scheduled. That should go to the mall. Any second now. There we go. And that is not going to the mall actually um how about how about you do go to the mall <laughs> that that would be what i'm actually looking for and as i said we'll stop making the cargo rocket sections in this block i think where where even are we doing that here it is. I'll switch that off. Okay, so we've got a whole lot of catching up to do with steel because we haven't had coke for a while. Um, but it shouldn't take that long. And I'll see how many... it's quite a lot actually already. Um, 95 packed cargo rocket sections, that's almost enough for five cargo rockets already. Actually it is if we count, because we never lose these when we send them by cargo rocket, and we get a few back from recycling, so this would probably enable us to send uh, five cargo rockets already. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? Before we go on break, do I want to set in motion? Not sure, actually. Oh yeah, space capsule. We are trying to make some space capsules here. We've got space capsules. Oh, right, derp. We're looking for cargo rocket sections, you buffoon. Um, did our train not deliver those? Oh, this was a long train. Okay. For some reason I thought it was a short train. I think I thought I only allowed short trains to drop off here, but obviously that's not the case. One of Factorio's default soundtracks is too sad. Too sad. There's some somber and spooky ones, definitely. Okay. So we definitely want some steel. Uh, let's say 5,000. And send some steel beams as well. Some iron. 
Do we have copper? We've got 12k copper. What are we running low on here? Processing units, kind of. I sort of picked them all up. Uh, I guess we could send some clip explosives. Alright, we'll have a think about what else to send to this outpost. I don't know... This, uh, this is actually taking up more of the planet than I thought it was. How big is this planet? It's only 2,000 radius. I kind of overestimated that. That's fine. Alright, I'm going to take a little break. Let's do some words on stream and LTN screensaver. Get a little refresh. Oh, it's actually... It's actually been three and a half hours already. <laughs> Probably best if I take a break. Since we're already halfway through the stream. And we'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? As you may be aware, I hate dealing with what I call temporary mines. And I don't like cargo rockets in general. But that said, I mean, look at this. 1.8 million coal, 5.9 million coal, 6 million coal, 3.5 million coal. And on our home planet, uh, 228k. And then further out, we have uh, literally nothing actually, 216k over here. And we're already looking at the edge for coal. Uh, yeah, there's almost no coal on this planet. That was at 319k five minutes ago. What is that now? Now 226. Well, we do have a lot of storage for it to saturate, but... Storage doesn't go that far. This is 32, 38k coal that fits in here. Because it could always scale up more core mining. I mean, we will be doing that, but like... You end up with... I mean, this isn't Nalvis, but for example... Uh, you obviously get diminishing returns and you end up getting more... Nalvis core fragments from getting more core fragments from other planets, basically. Because every core fragment uh, gives you regular core fragments. Um, or at least that's how it went last playthrough. I think this will be similar, but probably with a bit worse uh, ratios. But yeah, we'll definitely be scaling up core fragment mining eventually. Um, now, I think I would like to put... Do I not have bots? I do have bots. This train was just being rude, that's all. Um, let's put a... Drop-off up here. And we'll do this again. Oh yeah, we need to send, um, we need to send a cargo rocket silo, uh, along with whatever else might be convenient. I guess drills, we're going to be making a lot of mines over here. Um, we don't quite have 5k steel, so the whole loading process has stalled on 77 steel plate. Um... We are still making... Did I build this wrong? I think I did. Because I never see these ones making anything. Let's see. 30... We need 90 iron plate per second. Oh, this should be blue belt. No, it's actually four red belts. So 15, 30... That should be exact. 15, 30, 45, 60. Okay, yes, I did mess that up. 15, 30, 60, iron plate. Yeah, this needs to be blue belt. Do we have enough already in our train? Uh, I would say so, yes. Let's go upgrade that. And I'll park it about here. And we're just going to do a upgrade planner. For the input belts is all we need. That should actually be all it takes. Uh, 
Okay, that's looking better already. It should saturate fairly quickly now that we've got um, 22.5 uh, times 4. 90 per sec. Oh, that's actually just barely enough. So we're never going to see that actually saturate until this saturates. But we should get the machines working consistently after Happy a little while. Veldak, thank you very much for the 12 months. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. How are you doing, by the way? Good to see you again. Other than eating good food constantly. Alex Hudson? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Been playing Magic the Gathering Arena all morning. Sounds fun. Uh, why do we not have a lighted power pole at here? This spot in particular. You were away earlier? Oh yeah. I I'm guessing you came in during the break. Or was it felt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. We want to send a cargo rocket silo. Maybe I'll just send a few, because I'd rather have too many here and not need them than have to think about sending another cargo rocket. And we'll send some landing pads as well. Um, another seven, at least, core mining drills. So we can have the equivalent of four instead of the equivalent of three. Still waiting on that little bit of steel. Can we not prioritize this? We should probably prioritize this. Priority one. What is this doing? Okay, just take that over there, I guess. Oh, I'm guessing it got some of it got used up before that train arrived, that's why. Um, okay. We want drills. Say 500 should be a comfortable amount. Anything else we want to send? While we're filling a rocket. How many belts do we have? Not that many? Do we have no undergrounds? We do. Oh, because they're called underneath these. We can't see them when we search for belt. Whoopsie. Although I'm surprised. I guess splitter doesn't have the word belt in it. What about inserters? Should probably send an inserter care package as well. I think we have enough huge storage tanks. We've got another 47. Well, it's easier to send them than not. Say sixty. Um, Sutters. I'd much rather end up with too many of these sitting in a chest on the outpost than end up short. Uh, what else? Belt.
Wait, that's dub. Assuming we even have the belt, which we don't. Uh, that's going to take a little while. Repetitive Beats is back again. What are we bunking? Wait, was that repetitive that bunked earlier or something? That was Ragamuffin saying a ziz light. Okay, repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, so we, we've had our two long R names coming in with sounds as greetings. Just got here, indeed. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we have enough substations. Oh, that's a lot of... belt. I mean, yeah, it's actually pretty... Oh, solar panels! We want solar panels. Let's maybe drop the... some of the belt requests. Say the blues. And a lot of the... undergrounds. Uh, I think I want to double our solar panels here. If I can. So 2.5k, 1.3k. Yeah, I had this queued up a while ago. Welcome in repetitive beats, indeed. It's in his nature. To do it again? <laughs> I suppose so. How's our steel looking? Uh, it's still struggling because we had a lull in iron coming in. Oh, wait. We've actually only got two belts of iron coming in here and then two blue belts coming out. Okay, let's send our construction train up here to fix that. Probably better if we don't bottleneck on the resource that we're trying to catch up on. Alright, how many drills do I have here already? Oh, I only have core mining drills. I've got 98 blue drills, actually. So, we can probably maybe cover this. Let's grab our... Put it down here. Grab our templates. Should be enough room for the train to not block the roundabout easily, actually. It's really hard to see the coal here, but if we use the map, it's not so bad. Uh, I think I'll use the red belt since we've gone through a lot of blue already. probably a little bit overkill to use blue the way I've been laying out our mines. They don't have long individual belts anyway. What do we got here? 30 drills. That's only a little bit more than a red belt and that won't last. Hello, hello. Uh, Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That was actually way more than 98 drills. Uh, that's 159. Damn. Alright. And we've already got coal in there. Fantastic. Alright, so we want... Our input. 
puppets like so. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven input belts. That's perfect, actually. And belt. And belt. And belt. Fantastic. Tumbling satellite. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You seem to have some fuel issues. Uh, not fuel issues. Oh, right. Nalvis. Nalvis doesn't count. It, look, Nalvis... N Nalvis is ancient history, okay? Nalvis was our stepping stone to get to Hagen. I mean... If we didn't have, if I'd set up a better fuel source, uh, if I got like the coal from the rail network over here to be turned into fuel for the trains, then we could have got more resources delivered to Hagen before things got quiet over here. But uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. Some belts are turning the wrong way. Okay. Oh, I see. We're already out of red undergrounds? Really? We've got 235 back here. Alright, let's just design the rest of this first. Uh, this goes here. Goes there. And that goes there. And so on. That's backward. And last but not least... Uh, the station would be in the way, wouldn't it? Let's do a little squiggly belt here. Alright, and then we need finite resource. Well, not that we're doing any core fragment processing on this planet. Maybe we will at some point to get a little trickle of iron without Asking for, asking for it from Hagen or something. Uh, this will be fine for now. It'll be fine either way, actually. And this is a coal pickup. Forty-two. Uh, forty-two. Something is probably forty-two. Indeed, Orita, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I see, I see, hope it's going well. It's not going badly. You removed underground from the rockets, right? Uh, it was blue belt, mostly. I think I'm still asking for... Oh. Yeah, we could probably use some more red undergrounds. Just to be safe. Uh, Organic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we're looking for a lot of solar panels, a lot of steel beams, and some mines, and undergrounds before we resupply this. Damn, it's not even half full. I don't want to waste a trip, but... Well, no, I just don't. Uh, let's pick up the red undergrounds. We've still got only 31 blues. 50, 81, actually. 
It's not that many. Uh, anyway, let's finish our mine. And the bots have jumped out. I can't actually finish the mine, but... I could probably pick up a few of these drills that aren't really needed. That one is needed, at least for a little while. Oh, it's really hard to see where the coal actually is. Right, let's pick up these ones. And we actually need drills here. That's about it. What about up this end? It's pretty much all of it. It is really difficult to see where the coal is. I could just probably make some more drills, but uh, I don't have the rare metals on this planet. Alright, hopefully that has coverage. I'm not going to quadruple check it. And then we need some power. And we need some power over here. And that's our coal. Oh, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch that I didn't cover over this way. And we would need a... That's actually already covered. A power. Alright, how's our loading coming over this side? We're looking for way too many solar panels. Hmm. And of course everything is still stuck on steel. Hmm. I think I'll force a early delivery of cargo rocket sections. So that we can send back coal. Not that I wouldn't have to build another block to make... Oh, it's actually iron now. Serious? Huh. There's no shortage of iron ore. We've still got some really big mines. For iron ore. Very close to the iron plate as well. The iron plate isn't actually being dropped in fast enough. What's our rate here? 120 per second, that is two and a bit stacks. That's kind of a lot. Thirty-two K uh is eight train loads. What's the default train limit, I wonder? I thought it was like unlimited. Let's allow lots of trains to queue up here at the same time. They can definitely drop off a lot faster than a couple of stacks per second. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's still a bit of iron coming from here, but that's about to run out. Alright, well hopefully that'll work. Oh, that'll help. Let's see, 90 iron plate per second, and this needs 90 iron plate per second. Okay, I think maybe we need another block to process iron. Or half block, at least. 
Uh, where are we going to put this? This seems appropriate. Let's just copy-paste this. I know there's some stuff I'll want to remove from it. From that extra mine coming in here. And this side. Alright, let's get our construction train involved. Do I have it holding furnaces? I don't think I do. Uh, furnace. I think I would have put it here. Let's put it in this one, just because there's space. How many furnaces do we need? 24, just barely more than one stack. Okay. And we want to copy that to here so that we get furnaces delivered from the bowl. Fantastic. I think they're already getting delivered. Yep, there it goes. We're actually picking up all of the furnaces. It's fine. Actually, no it's not. Just just take 24 for now. Still looking for over a thousand solar panels. Maybe I should relax on that for a bit. What else could we send just to not waste cargo rocket space? Uh, concrete certainly doesn't hurt. Circuits? Oh yeah, we were short on green circuits for a while, because we had no copper. We've definitely sorted out copper for now. oop a doop Research is chugging away. We don't- we- I don't think we have that much more. Ooh, big portable solar panel. Oh, that needs imacite. I haven't done any imacite processing yet. Uh, but yeah, we don't have too many more things that we can do with just utility science packs. Can you shoot a bit of rare metals from Nalvis? That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. I didn't bring any rare metals. Uh, how about 5k? We really... It's called rare metal, but I really don't seem to have much trouble keeping up with rare metals, ever. I'm guessing that'll change a bit later on. Oh yeah, we were going to build those furnaces. Let's go. That's going to double our iron plate throughput. Uh, inactivity. Not 20. Uh, not 200, rather. Redirect, redirect delivery cannons? Oh, the ones on Nalvis aren't working because the trains have run out of fuel. And yeah, when you said from Nalvis, for some reason I thought from Hagen, because the word Nalvis to me still seems to mean main base, as opposed to that planet that we're not going to be doing much on now. Compared to a normal playthrough. Are we not... 
Hold on. Are the Roboports dead? Only one Roboport is dead. We've got construction bots. Oh, we built it already! What? what wow, that was fast! Holy crap. Okay. Uh, build this over here, please? I didn't even see it. And we don't actually need that. Uh, and we should probably build this iron mine to just go straight into the bulk rail unloaders. Or something. Uh, I hate building mines, but it has to be done. I mean, it probably doesn't strictly have to be done just yet. Nah, let, let's hurry up and do it. Um, Alright, so... Mining drills. We'll use red belt. Since we had no steel for a while. That one could be a bit more custom. Spider spider lawnmower? Wait, what? Mining patch planner mod? Not super useful with your blueprints? Uh, I'm not familiar with the mod, but why is it not super useful with my blueprints? Alright, so then... What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I could do a... Even a, a delivery cannon chest would be big enough. Let's bring our train back this way. It's gonna block the roundabout for a second. Actually. I think I'll bring it over here. It'll probably have enough reach. And we should have a big container handy somewhere. And let's just do loaders like so. Have them pointing out and we flip them around. That's how we can build those remotely. then like this how many more do we need one two three four five six i mean we don't really need that many belts but we could do it that way I might just merge these two. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And... Don't have enough undergrounds to finish. But I'll get the train to finish that part first. And head back to reload. It cannot do beacons, nor does it care about putting two belts of miners worth on a single belt. Didn't flip all of them? Uh-oh. I think we did. Do you mean the undergrounds, or like... Uh, do you mean the loaders or something else, like the underground belts? Looks okay. Except for this. Oh, 
Oh, and it's going to need power, obviously. And then we just need to belt it over here. Which is looking a little more complicated than I first realized. Uh, what have we got? Four belts? 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, four belts exactly. Well, this doesn't have to give all four belts to this. Like, we can allow trains to bring iron in from other places as well. How about... Something like... This... Splitter... Oh, we don't actually need a splitter. Underground, like so. And then... Like this. Underground, like so. And then, like this. Okay, let's get our train back. It's not loaded yet. It doesn't have the furnaces, that's fine. Change that back to one stack of furnaces, actually. And move our train back here-ish. And then here-ish, just to be sure. And then back to resupply. Looks like it's going to work. Fantastic. I kind of like the sounds of these drills. Wait, why didn't you place that one underground? No, you can't be... You can't be short of undergrounds. How dare you. It's probably only requesting one... stack of undergrounds, though. Yeah, we should fix that. You removed the ones that weren't flipped. Okay, cool. What's our range? Let's see the RoboPort range real quick. Yeah, that's actually really good. We didn't have to stop twice. Well, at least some of it... I was going to say at least some of it is working, but... Oh, this isn't supposed to be a loader. None of it is working, effectively, at the moment. Alright, let's check in on our cargo rocket. We haven't actually loaded any rare metals yet, because we're trying to load the stuff that comes first in item ID. Oh, what's this? Telescope. Oh, telescope. We have one of those that we got for free. Uh, but yeah, research still chugging along. Fantastic. I'm new to these mods. What part is SE and what part is K2? Uh, the bigger overhaul is space exploration. So, like, everything you see here, basically, is space exploration. Um, the fact that we're on multiple surfaces and we have various ways of traveling um, from planet to planet or from planet to orbit and so on. Um, that's all space exploration. Crestorio 2 adds all kinds of other things that will work on a save that 
doesn't do this uh, space exploration stuff. Wait, why is copper coming here? Let's make sure this is set up as a finite mine. It is. Huh. Must have just got a load from... for fragment processing. Okay, fair enough. Thanks, you're welcome. Uh, Mr. Jink, good to see you again. Don't worry, you aren't like me with MTG cards in front of you, all over you. Wait, what? Oh, Silent Storm. Didn't see you there. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I mean, I did see you there. I, I was just paying attention to what you were asking. Okay. Uh, we got our undergrounds. Bring them over here. Inactivity. And then go back and resupply. And that should be our iron mine. There's also another iron mine up here. And up here, there's so much iron on Hagen. Not so much coal. 10 million right there. Okay. Did we build it? We did. Alright, so we've got half of the maximum that this block can do coming in from this mine, and the rest is going to be dropped off by train. I think one of the miners isn't connected. Because I snaked it back this way, is that what you're looking at? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, no. Whoops. Okay. We need underground, underground, and this goes here. Now we have to send the freaking train back again. All right, that'll do. Uh, we're not going to empty the train this time. I'm pretty sure it's not going to pick up anything that's not supposed to be in there. Or that's in the wrong cargo wagon or something. Okay. Now, how's our steel looking? Our steel is looking pretty healthy, actually. Or at least the throughput is pretty good. 30 per second. It's quite good for steel. For this stage of the game, I think. We've just got a lot of catching up to do. How much power do we have to spit? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. We're running off nuclear. So, we're, we're running off nuclear that we haven't got cover X for. So, um... Using up more power aggressively is not what we want just yet. But once we do get cover X, um, I'm going to go ham on nuclear power on Hagen. And we'll do more coal mining so that we get more coal. More coal mining. And we get more sand and stone. That's uh, more uh, coal and stone. And stone products are a bit more precious on Hagen than we're used to. Alright, how's this thing looking? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to launch that. 227 cargo rocket sections? Um, I'll just drop this down to 227 for the moment. And it's going to start loading in other resources. 
yeah, that's actually better than expected already. Uh, it might take a bit longer to load media defense ammo than I kind of anticipated. How much do we have here? 3.7k? Uh, I think I'll set it to just ask for 3600. And we'll fill the rest up with iron. Do I not have a request for it? I think I only requested the iron this way. Alright. Uh, iron plate. However much space is left in the cargo rocket, I'll ask for iron plate for the first delivery. And then I'll set them all to look for 500 stacks of each of these resources, so it'll keep sending automatically. I just finished doing the first Astro Science, and oh my god, it needs so much oil stuff, I had to make a dedicated coal rocket. Indeed. Dark Rail, good to see you again. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. How difficult would it be to make miners while we're here? I mean, if I can settle for yellow miners, not very difficult at all, actually. Do we have copper? Uh, we have a bit of copper. Oh, we've got some copper plate here already, 12k. Yeah, I guess if I settle for yellow miners, it's not too difficult to coat all of these mines in drills. Or a bunch of them all at once anyway. But I think I'd just rather wait for this rocket. What do we got? How many solar panels is this? 2.2k. Alright, I'm going to turn this one off for now. So we can load everything else. How many drills are we asking for? 500, that's 10 stacks. We've got 333, that's not too bad, I might just stop at 300 for now. We'll be able to recycle some of the drills as we go anyway. And then we're looking for steel again. How is there never 77 steel? Probably because it all went to make steel beams. We could probably stop trying to make quite so many steel beams. Steel when? Uh oh, it stopped. I think I should jump. Uh, I think I should bump the priority to make steel. Steel is very important. Okay. I was going to put some icons here as well to show what we're doing. As for the coke, oh, that's actually totally saturated. All right, cool. What's the ratio here? Uh, that coke can actually do like almost three blocks of steel processing like this. Should we double the steel processing? I think we probably should. Let's plan this out. And then... Probably do the exact same thing here. But flip it around. And 
And then this part is going to be symmetrical, I think. Is that right? Yeah, that looks right. And I could probably just all send it to the same pickup, but... What was the rate again? 30 per second? Yeah, we could send it all to the same pickup. Let's get a splitter here. Or I wonder if it's more UPS friendly, if we don't need to, to not split it. Okay, let's send our construction train over here. Should be enough to get that done, except we're probably only carrying 20 furnaces. Hello, what is the playtime? Uh... 7 days, 12 hours, 30 minutes, and 49 seconds. Bye, Cal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I mean, yeah, it is a space exploration game, and also... Uh, also, I'm going to the trouble of moving my starting base to a whole other planet really early on. So, there's that. All right, can we go resupply and come back with, what are we missing? Did we, do we not have any long arm inserters or stack inserters? Really? So obviously we need a few furnaces. Um, we're definitely requesting the inserters. Tavia, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got the inserters. I wonder... Oh, we're trying to put in blue belt and there's hardly any. Ugh, okay. Alright. What about the furnaces? We've got 12, that'll do. Alright, hurry up and give me long arms and stack inserters. This is a simple but effective fast loading system, but the last stack takes a lot longer. Oh, indeed. Alright, let's go finish. Uh, doubling our steel. And before we forget, we should definitely tell LTN what we have here. Otherwise, it's going to overfill things just a little bit. Didn't even notice that I left that rail disconnected, but that's actually a good way to prevent accidents while we're building. Here comes the train. That's coke. Seems to be working. Ironically, uh, the fact that we're short on steel is the reason we don't have the blue belts. 
And here comes some iron. Fantastic. Alright, that's going to make it a little bit easier to catch up on steel. Double check it's all working properly. Looking pretty good. Fantastic. Alright, so that is theoretically 60 steel per second, uh, if we keep it saturated. And considering how much iron processing we just added... Oh wait, I forgot. We've got exactly enough iron processing to do half of this now. So now we need to double our iron processing. Which... I wonder if I could squeeze it in here. Like, I could obviously do the left side here without really getting in the way of that pine mine. I couldn't really do both sides, though. Okay. So now we need, yep, another iron mine. Uh, I guess we need to pick that stuff up as well. We'll use red belt because we're hurting for blue belt. This is going to be a bit awkward to try and fit. Yeah, that's fine, actually. Oh, is this empty? Whatever this was? This was actually iron pickup. Did I just not finish doing what I was going to do here? I guess so. Alright, let's decon all of that. I didn't even put signals here so that we're not blocking the uh, roundabout, actually. Okay, so red belt. I'm gonna go up here. Let's get our train over here already, if it's loaded, which it's not. It's looking for furnaces, that's fine. Unless there's something missing in here. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Let's go inactivity. One minute, in case I have to figure things out. And then, big container, actually let me do it up here, somewhere like this. And facing out, and then rotate. Oh, this is not as many belts as I thought. For some reason. There's one over here, though. Which we could probably sort out this way.
Uh, and I definitely want to get rid of this stuff. Oh, it turns both of those around. Interesting. Alright, I guess our train can't reach quite that far. Doopy doop. Let's send our train down here. And I think that should be enough to reach the rest of that build. We are missing some furnaces. But that's the thing I'm worried about the least for the moment. Oh, and we need some power. Okay. Is this covered? I think it is. Weirdly enough. And then... I didn't actually do this part. I don't think we've got reach all the way up there, do we? Oh. Alright, so let's send our train... Do we have any more furnaces here? We have zero furnaces. No point going back just yet. Okay. Well, that'll be at least functional for the moment. We've got a train trying to come here. Does it have path? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Alright, at least we've got all the belts and stuff in place, so this thing will work, it'll just be a bit slower until we get more furnaces. Looking good, actually. Alright, back to the mole. How many furnaces do we have? Zero. That's uh, less than I was hoping for. I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure we've got, uh, I think we've got furnaces automated here. If not, I don't know where we got all of those furnaces from. Don't tell me we were still running out of the initial amount of furnaces that we brought from Nalvis. It's actually kind of impressive how many furnaces I brought in that case. There's 299 furnaces left here still. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I brought enough furnaces when I came from Nalvis. I think, um... I, th I think that particular aspect of it was ready perfectly. Um, but can we maybe put that in the mall? Why don't we go ahead and get everything from this robot network thrown into the mall? Uh, Fulgurt, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I'm going to make a drop-off just like this. Vanilla Train is going to come pick this stuff up. Um, how many Robo ports? We've got 21 Robo ports here, so we can pretty much stretch this as much as we like uh, to make it fit easily with the rail. But on the other hand, I could just bring this over here. And we're going to read from entire robot network. Do we have a chest? 
Uh, we don't have a blue chest here. Um, but yeah, we're going to read from the entire robot network and just say whatever's in the robot network, put it in this chest. And Vanilla Train is going to take from there and go to the mall. So bit by bit we'll empty the entire thing. Don't quite have path here just yet. Just send it empty. You can use your train as a deconstructor. Uh, that's true, but there's an awful lot of stuff uh, in this old mall to empty. Out. Ooh, packed cargo rocket sections. That, isn't that a treat? I didn't even know how much stuff... Oh, wow, that's a lot of blue belt. Look at all these riches. All right. Uh, is the train not gonna... Wait, what? Halton Z. Um... Why aren't we building rail? Because... Because we have no rail. Okay. We've definitely got rail here, we just didn't load it back into the train yet. Uh, probably because I rushed the train in when it was reloading as soon as it had stack inserters that other time. Okay, I don't suppose the train built that requester chest. It did not. We've only got passives and storage here. So we can't, uh, we can't automate that remotely without the train. Okay, so we're waiting for it to... We're short on medium poles? Really? Really, really? I think our autocrafter is crying. Probably because no steel. It's, yeah, it's stuck on trying to make certain things. Uh, and it's waiting on steel all the time. Okay. Serves me right for making it too reliant on the autocrafter. Um... How's our steel looking? Pretty good, actually. If no train is coming to pick it up and there's this much already, either all of our trains are busy? Which I don't... Okay, maybe they were. Nope, I think we might have caught up on steel. At least in the rail network. In this moment. Okay, I guess stop asking for medium poles for the moment. Could you set a notice for when the train is ready? Um, I have done that. Um, it's just not managing to load everything at the moment unless I keep lowering its standards. Yeah, see, it's out of... It, it, it's out of... Uh, blue underground belt, so it's stopped loading anything else. But when it does get to the point where none of these are outputting S for stack size to the first inserter for each cargo wagon, uh, then we detect S equals zero, we're going to turn that light on. If S, e if S is greater than zero, output one and then one tick later, if one is greater than zero, output two. Both of those outputs go to uh, the programmable speaker, which says if two is greater than one, output uh, this noise. Um, so basically that's how we make it so that 
it only makes the notification when it finishes loading. It doesn't make the same notification the moment the train leaves, for example. That's it. That's the sound when the train is automatically fully loaded. Um, but yeah, I definitely want it to try to put in these items. All right, where were we building? Oh, this very simple but very important build right now. Let's just double check. We've got rail. We've got rail. We've got some damaged rail. Maybe I should get the train to carry some repair packs as well. There we wait, 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 wait. Okay, now, now that you've put the Now that you've put the rail in place so you can go over here, please build the blue chest. You're not carrying the blue chest, are you? Oh, no. Okay. Um, Because I totally switched this off. That was my mistake. How do you damage rails on a planet without fighters? Uh, some meteors got through at some point. Um, because we ran out of finite media defense ammo that I set up over here a while ago. Um, so then I quickly just, because I was already on the other planet, I just quickly threw this together from the mall. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Speaking of media defense, three shots fired, nine out of twelve structures remain ready. That was just a shoot down... oh, three meteors actually. That's pretty good. 100% accuracy. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. I forgot. We don't have a cargo wagon here. Alright, which one has the most space remaining? This one's actually... I might want to calm down a bit on some of... Oh, it came back backward. This is one of the reasons I have the emptier. And one of the reasons that originally I decided it would be better if the train was not double-headed. But yeah, we're just going to empty it and reload it. It's the only way, since we can't read the individual cargo wagon contents. Right then. See which cargo wagon has the most space left over after we fill it up properly. Or at least fill it up properly minus whatever I have to switch off temporarily. I do wish we could place specifically that damaged rail. Can you read train roboport charge level? Uh, I don't believe we can, no. But it's full at the moment. I think this will get to furnaces and then find that there's a problem. I guess I could add some circuitry to check if what we're trying to put in the train is actually in the robot network. How would that work? That's actually a really good question. Especially if we're not counting on a surplus of whatever's in the robot network. After it's loaded into the train. 
Okay. Uh, where were we going with this? I keep forgetting. Up here? No, that was the build we finished without the furnaces. And said, this'll do for now. What was I building? Oh, right, this. This is very important. We literally just need a blue chest. No, 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 don't. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Stop, stop. Don't listen to me. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Go back to here. And we won't have to turn the train around. And whichever cargo wagon has the most space left over. I'll put some colored chests in here. Um, I might just be lazy and copy this across. Oh, the chests are all... Oh, no. The chests are already in here. And it's a buffer chest. Hmm. I could do this. Wait, we're going to turn off the set requests here. We already have. Okay. Um, I guess it could dollies to the rescue. And then bring this stuff over here. And hopefully we've got it. I don't have to tweak this inputs even more. Really, I just want to see a blue chest at the moment. Fantastic. Okay. I guess I'll leave that there for now. Let's send our train back here, and I'm sure five seconds is going to be way more than long enough to place that one chest. I'll just wait till that is empty and then put the chest back here, because picker dollies can kind of mess up the bulk rail unloader and slash loaders. Uh, when you put chests near them like this so that the inserters automatically do their thing and then pick a dolly the chest away, uh, if it's an outputting it'll just keep dropping items here, which is probably not what we want. Alright, that's gonna take a little bit longer. Where's our train? It's not coming back, is it? No, bad. Bad train. Oh wait, is the map lying to me? The map's lying to me. Okay, never mind. Good train. My bad. Where's it going? Back to the emptier. Alright. So we are going to read the entire... Uh... Robot network and set requests and just put this in here. And as soon as there's something. Oh. As soon as there's something in this bulk rail loader, vanilla train is going to come pick up from this station whatever it can find and take it back to the mall. Fantastic. Okay. Blue chest, indeed. So that's an awful lot of stuff. Uh, some of which is rather more useful. Uh, like, literally hundreds of furnaces we've got. And blue belts as well. Thousands of blue belts at a time when we're struggling to make more of that stuff at the moment. 
That's a pretty big help. Should decon all the blue chests over here as well. I mean, not blue chests really, but any kind of requester. Oh, I think there were blue chests here. I could have just deconstructed that to get it down here. Oh well. Live and learn. I guess I don't have to decon freaking everything. Uh, I'll just leave it to it for now. Hello there, Hospec. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Well, we're definitely bottlenecking on iron for steel, which is preferable at the moment. Wait, we've got ludicrous amounts of steel saved up here. Okay, that's a good sign. How much is in the mall? Let's double check. 5.6k. Alright, cool. Um, so did we load everything we didn't disable? Yes. Why is our... Oh, we've actually... Oh! We've actually got solar panels. But we stopped at 1.2k because of the way I programmed this before. Okay. I might have to... Let's just make this look at this chest in particular instead of the robot network. And circuit network, solar panels, less than 1.2k. This is accumulators. Same thing. Half the chest each. Actually, I wouldn't mind having more storage for those. Alright, cool. Sudden explosion in the stuff we're able to have. I think we need to make these gears a little bit faster. Probably a lot faster. Okay. Oh, we actually do have a lot of ability to make solar panels here. That's fine. That is fine. How's this block doing? That is actually really good. Um, oh yeah, we loaded everything I wanted to here. So next is iron plate. Um, normally I would put these on... You know what, let's let's put them on one combinator. Uh two twenty-seven packed of these. And then iron plate. So we should see iron plate getting loaded into this now. Fantastic. And it's going to launch on Cargo Fall, aimed at Granis Mall. Once it does launch, um, I'm going to set the high volume stuff to 500 stacks. So it'll always find a way to auto launch when something gets low enough. Except we're sort of doing some calculations to make sure we have enough space capsules. I hope. Hello. Mazzle Fazzle. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Oh, this was what we were asking for? I think I calculated this all over again over here. Yeah, I did. Do 
did you see there's an update for SE? Uh, I did not, actually. I haven't updated in a while because I'm always afraid of breaking something. Where's this train trying to go? It's trying to steal out iron to go to... Uh, rocket fuel. That's fine. I could probably go to the trouble. Okay, what once that once our cargo rocket gets here with drills among other things. Oh, we've actually got lots of drills. Let's crank this up. Uh yeah, once our cargo rocket gets here with drills and stuff. Oh, we al almost already have the solar panels I'm asking for. A small overhaul of the satellite view GUI. Seems good. It's not too bad already, but uh, I'm sure there's room for improvement. I mean, I never really thought about it because I mostly just used the hotkey and didn't really use this stuff. If you haven't updated in a while, then the only important thing is that there's some recipe changes in space stuff. Uh, how deep into space stuff? Like, deeper than we've gone? I'm guessing. What kind of changes? Why does this train have priority over me? Or... For doing construction bot things. I think it was mostly bioscience. Okay. Alright. Are we loading accumulators yet? Almost. Wait, don't we need a big build for solar panels eventually? So we might as well do it now if that's the case. Uh, we need regular solar panels to upgrade into flat solar panels, I think. Yeah. I can't remember if we need any solar panel spam for, like, science. Um, we do need them for space capsules. I'm just trying to find an excuse. Uh, but I think I, I already have a good enough excuse to make a rail block to make solar panels, actually. We did it last time, because flat solar panel. Oh, we need advanced solar panels next. Nitric acid, imosite, crystal. And then advanced becomes flat. And then flat becomes tier 2 flat, and so on. Alright, uh, let's double check we've got everything in motion here, and then I think I'll jump into... That's loading surprisingly slowly. Oh, that's not a stack inserter. Let's, uh, let's remedy that, first of all. I just loaded up my own save, and now it's time to build an emisite production facility. Interesting. Do we already have the technology to do some emisite stuff? And I've just been putting it off. I think I've got the big weird drill. Quarry drill. That That's for emisite caves, right? Uh, where's the, where's the emisite caves? Here we go. Yeah, quarry drill. So we we can already make quarry drills. Does it need uh acid or something? Yeah, I should probably go straight to making advanced solar panels after this uh, outpost, I guess. Just power? I'm guessing the processing is a bit more complicated. But, welcome, welcome. 
Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh yeah, I was going to build this. We're waiting on a delivery still. Uh, what are we still loading? We've still got lots of space in this cargo rocket though. Hmm. I'd love to send more panels, but I don't want to wait forever. Probably easier to send more iron and copper at this point. Oh, glass. We've got 3k glass. I don't think I brought... What is it called? Silicon? It's probably something I'm going to realize I need silicon for. It's just for a quick handcraft. No, it's literally just solar panels and uh, electronic components. We've got 1k electronic components. I recommend building a construction train for outposting on Mercury. Yeah, I've already done that actually. It's just a short train. Um, nice and easy. Not great capacity, but it's enough to get uh, it, it's enough to get stuff done, and we don't have to worry about it turning around the wrong way, um, like our other train did. We don't have to worry about getting uh, it getting stuck. A coal mine, coal mine outposting train? Yeah, this can do that. Speaking of which, I haven't built the coal mines. That's because we're waiting on the drills. Um, after we fill this rocket. We're waiting on a lot of stuff sent from Hagen. You're taking that to here, aren't you? Um, maybe I should... I think I'll set this to encoded network ID 1, actually. Oh no, the space capsules have to come from there. There's no way I can set it so that the packed cargo rocket sections only come from a particular station. Hmm. What are we short on here? It's actually really easy to see. Low density structures. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I'm guessing we need steel? We need copper. Research is continuing. Yeah, we're short on copper. Uh-oh. I guess our one mine isn't necessarily... It's actually pretty fast. Alright, can we set a high train limit? We probably need more trains. We've got like one... I probably just got here. Yeah. We need more trains. But just in case, I'm gonna set train limit uh, very high. And then... We should have locos and cargo wagons here. We just need a good spot to put them into the rail network. Uh, let's start with some long trains. Oh, oh, that's all of our research. Okay, I'll do this real quick first. LCCL. How about here? I'll add some requesters here and here. And give it some solid rocket fuel. Or maybe I should do a version of this blueprint that includes fuel. If you set limit too high, they will get stuck on turns. Um, I don't think they will, because the entire roundabout is all chain signals, and the trains are actually only allowed to stop in these straights, which are one way. 
So the straight's a left-hand drive, the roundabout is both ways, and the entire roundabout is all chain signals. So that if if we had six of them waiting, you would see one here, here, probably here, here, if that was finished. Uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, if there was nowhere else to go to the sides. So more like one, two, three, four, five, six, or five, six, or something. And as you can see, these trains accelerate really quickly. And with the stack size of 50, the bulk rail loaders load them up very, very quickly as well. Okay, so back to the mall with you. Let's do another one. I don't actually know how many double length trains I have. We could get to a point where theoretically they can't all go back into the depot. But even then that's probably fine unless we actually get to a point where all of them are sleeping. Worst case, I make another depot. Well, uh, they went to sleep for at least seven seconds there. Maybe that's an improvement. Let's send you back. And another train here. If all of them are sleeping, something is wrong, indeed. Well, we actually got to a point where literally everything was totally saturated here a while ago, which made it a lot more surprising when we suddenly had uh, resource shortages. With Rampant Monthly Insane before RD. <laughs> yeah, Rampant is pretty strong, to say the least. Spiders in my save are getting really annoying. Every time they attack, I lose 2 to 10 construction bots. That was a problem that I couldn't really find a perfect solution for in the death world. We, I, I was trying to find a way to like get the construction bots to wait until the biters had finished attacking an area, and there wasn't really... There's not really a lot of good options. I think I'll make this block inaccessible while we're dropping off these trains. A lot of these notifications are coming from Nalvis. That makes it a bit harder to... Oh, here we go. Wait, what? Never mind. Okay, there they go. Uh, there's like three notifications for not enough trains on Hagen. And let's add four more. That's two. They mostly die to the acid even though they are actually flying. Indeed. Yeah, the, the acid spit in vanilla is actually like overpowered, honestly. It's very annoying. Okay. One more after this. Do we even have enough? Yeah, I think we do. Can make a few more locomotives, actually. But I'm pretty sure the ones we just added are going to be more than enough. Because they're playing catch-up. And we're going to stop seeing... Hagen saying that there's not enough trains shortly. Okay. Fantastic. Did 
did I not request cargo rocket section packed? Request stack threshold 40, requesting 40. So LTN sh oh right, there's too many, there's not enough trains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the request stack threshold here is 80, so there's that. What are we missing here? LDS, because copper, which we're trying to fix. Copper... Oh yeah, I was looking at the throughput for this. Uh, the belt throughput is actually lots. I think we just need more trains. There's actually already a few trains going back and forth here. Let's keep adding trains until we've run out of locomotives for now. So, two more. Fantastic. All right, hopefully that will be enough to catch up. Who dares pick up cargo rocket sections? This long boy. And there they are. Nice. Now then, set that back to 80. Had any names today? Uh, I don't believe so. Rocket, Pog. Have a look. Uh, Mazel Fazel Neiman Base. Alright, Dan. Mazel Fazel. Fantastic. Where are we going to fit? Probably here. SF Hobbit, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Beldak trying to be a mod. I guess that's fine, actually. Let's see. I can't remember where the mod button is. I don't think there's a quick way for me to, to mod Veldak here. Is there? I've done it, like, twice. I don't remember where to go to make someone a mod. Uh, let's see. Dashboard? How was your stream, Hobbit? Uh... Here we go. Oh boy. Is this going to be the right Veldak? I hope so. Probably. Okay. I should get the bots to be able to build this remotely somehow. Uh, Neb? Oh wait. That was applause, not name and base. Uh, PC Duck name and base. Okay, sure. And hello as well. Do we want PC Duck? This smells like responsibilities. Well, you probably shouldn't have gone exclamation mark SO if you didn't want the responsibility. How many Ks are we looking at here? Four? Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And I should probably probably start putting this somewhere else because of the background color.
Beldak, please have mercy. Vlad, name and base, okay. If Veldak doesn't have the right amount of mercy, Veldak won't be a mod for very long. We want the numbers or just Vlad? Are we even sure that Veldak knows the meaning of the word mercy? I haven't seen anything to think otherwise. Repet it's repetitive beats. That's right, I think. Fantastic. Okay. How's our loading going? Oh, pretty well, actually. In fact, we've loaded everything. We've got... Uh, 154 stacks remaining. What else should we send? More solar? Definitely doesn't hurt to send more solar. Grannis rocket launched. Uh, oh yeah. Fantastic. Alright, let's set the requests here for the high volume things back to 50... Uh, 500 stacks. So, 10k for this. Uh, 500 for this. And 50k iron plate. So basically that's going to ensure that when we consume enough of some of these things, uh, this rocket is going to end up being full. And therefore auto-launch. And because... Like, as long as we're not completely out of iron plate, we're not going to completely fill a rocket with iron plate. So it's going to bring other resources at the same time. But it crashed? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, did it though? I, I think you're right. Bruh, why, 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 why you gotta be like that? Uh, okay, figures, freaking cargo rockets, grumble, grumble. Um, I should probably expand. Whoops. I should expand the robot network around here to catch that stuff automatically, anyway. How many robo ports do we have? 16. Oh, right, cool. And about here as well. Got a medium pole down here. And like here. Probably here. About here. Over this way. And probably up here as well. Up here. And that should probably be enough coverage to prevent this, uh, to cover the stupid rocket crashes. Do we not have enough storage? We definitely have storage. Oh, do those bots belong to the train? Okay. You can just stay there for a minute. Yep, there we go. 
has sustained damage and is off its course. Yep. Even when you get like supposedly 99, it, we're basically working off of XCOM percentages when it comes to cargo rockets. If it says that we've got a 99% chance for it not to crash, uh, bet on it crashing. I missed that as a meteor. Three shots fired. Yeah, we, we got it. If Feldak was in charge, he'd have words on stream occasionally interrupted by Factorio. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. So, just to have a peek on the other side. Um, this is what we're trying to load into the rocket now. Or, where would be a good spot to... Here we go. All of the positive signals here. The negatives are what are in the robot network on Granis. Um, aside from offset by what we're asking for. And the positives are what we're still trying to put into the rocket. Um, and that'll change as our bots pick this stuff up. Is that a destroyed cargo pod that wasn't marked for deconstruction? I think it is. Did we get our robot rover pods built? Apparently not. Am I carrying roboports? Apparently not. Where are the roboports? In this chest. Okay. And away go my construction bots. Lovely. Let's get some power poles. Oh, I need some repair packs over here. Looks like the rest is done. Nope. Alright, how about now? We need a medium pole down here. There we go. There we go. That should be okay coverage. I think. Actually, considering where this is, we probably need one down here. Dragon cargo rockets. And I should probably put one up there as well. Okay. Watch a cargo rocket crash right here. Jelly the Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The left side's a separate network. Uh, I think you're right, actually. Let's just pick a dollies this over a little bit. Okay. Drop off this iron. So this thing won't be trying to load quite as much. So it is trying to load up another cargo rocket full of stuff to send, which is fine. 
What are we going to do with this 154 stacks? Um, to send more stuff to our outpost. We have more undergrounds? Uh, we do. Am I, am I really only asking for one stack of these? Okay, that's not good enough. Five stacks. And definitely more belt. In general. One stack of splitters is probably fine. Could take it all the way to two. How's this build looking? Still no LDS. We've got copper here at least. Oh, that's a ton of LDS. What the hell? What? What? We make 3.6 per second here? I don't think this happened in the last two minutes. Oh. Well, that, that would probably help. If we had a... Uh, if we had LTN settings on this thing. Let's get our construction train over here. And we need to connect wire as soon as that's done. What's that pyramid? That is full of biters. And also a... Spoilers. Uh, tier 9 module. Alright, so we're probably going to have some trains picking up LTS now. Probably. There's no sulfur. There's no petroleum. There's no... There is oil and water. Do we need another oil processing block? Probably. Probably very yes. T-Hex is heating up? Heating up? I mean, it is going into summer here, but... I don't know if that's what you mean. Uh, I could just send a whole lot more iron and steel. Especially iron, because... You know what? I can fill the rest of this with iron, because it's going to prevent this thing from having to send as much iron for a while. And if we're really... we'll double the steel as well. Oh, and copper. Let's just... Double those and send copper as well. So we just added 20,000. That's 200 stacks. That's going to be overfilled. That's probably fine, honestly. It's getting into summer? Yep, southern hemisphere. Uh, Australia, actually. Okay. Mast belt, transport belt, iron plate. Could we maybe request... Oh, we're requesting iron ingots, not plate here. Wait a sec. We still have ingots to process. I should probably do something about that. Plate from ingots. Plate from ingots. And we had a bunch of iron plate here before because I had to keep sending trains back here. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like I should probably request iron and copper here directly. Um, how much is a train load? Or eight thousand? This is why he knows how to deal with biters so well. Wait, how does that work? West TX. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh, right. Australia. Right. Yeah, East Coast. Uh... Alright, so that seems to be... Did we not request LDS here? We did. And I thought I fixed... Oh, this is only allowing short trains? Whoops. Okay. Minimum three, maximum four. Uh, that should allow LDS to be delivered over here. Fantastic. Kind of confused as to how we ended up getting anything made here. I guess it all got stolen from the mall. Yeah. Oh, it must have... It must have been LDS from here. We used it all up. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, then. How have we not loaded this train? Do we have no... We've, we've got copper plate here. We're looking for iron plate. Hmm... Okay, fine. That's enough iron plate. 5,000. We were going to go over anyway. We've got the steel plate here. And we've got the copper here. So that should pretty much fill up the whole cargo rocket. Now then. Why don't we tap another copper mine or something? Speaking of which... We might have enough trains now... ...to keep up with that mine. Two out of two meteors destroyed. Fantastic. Uh, there's a huge copper mine if I go all the way down here. Don't really want to roll over the... Rare metal mine, though. Then again, we've always got more rare metals than we need just from core mining. At least for now. Uh, but I think I'll probably tap this one first. Is this empty? This is empty. Alright, let's get that out of the way. And then... Rail blocks. That's not the best fit. Let's remove all of this for now. And mines. I really want to use the blue belts. They're just easier. We should have enough this time. Alright, 
let's get rid of the excess here. Should be sufficient. Fantastic. And we'll put our pickup around here somewhere. How many belts is this? Three, four, five, six, seven. We could do the usual. But I think I'll do it like this. Alright, let's get our construction train over here. I might remove some of the excess rail for now, just to reduce the the strain on building this stuff. Um, I don't really think we need any of this yet. So remove that. Seems good. And I'll have to get this out of the way first. Alright, did we get rid of almost literally all that copper? Fantastic. Let's bring our train up here, I guess. Inactivity. 60 seconds. I hope we're going to have enough room if I tell them to deconstruct all this. How much power do all those wind turbines between the tracks add to the total, uh, total power production at the moment? Uh, let's see. Uh, 34.8 megawatts. That's more than I expected. It's really mostly there to just sort of cover the cost of minimum power expense if we're not using a block and then some, and to mitigate problems if we have a power crisis, that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, they're actually kind of overperforming compared to what I expected there. Oh, I guess I can't really remove the bulk rail loaders while the train is sitting in the middle of them. Do we have enough bots to at least pick up that much? We do. Alright, back to the emptier. And I'll wait for... I don't know. Could I make a temp stop exactly at the emptier? No, that's just a stop. Alright, time passed... Um, I don't know. A thousand seconds. We'll check back and f make sure the bots have made their way back. They're going to run out of energy like halfway there or so. Let's clean this up. Fantastic. Oh, I probably don't want to remove that bit of straight rail, do I? Should add a CC switch to construction material resupply. CC switch, what is that?
Alright. That should be enough. So that we can get to our copper mine. Constant combinator. Can you read logistic network drones? Deployed drones? No, I can't, unfortunately. Looks like they're going to take about a minute to get here. Make it two minutes. Oh, wait. I'll do. And what can we do while we wait for that? Oh, how about our resupply rocket? So we're looking for 5k, 10k copper. Um, so 100 stacks. There's gonna there's gonna be four stacks left over. Uh, what should we send? How about some blue underground belt if we have it? We've got 86. I really should do a dedicated belt for a, a dedicated build for belts. Insertos are surprisingly decent with the auto crafting system, uh, but belts really bottleneck. Um. What else do I want sent? Not a whole lot, to be honest. Oh, do we have steel underground pipes here? We do, actually. 120. Did you set extra chest for plates? Instead of ingots in the mall, uh, I set a couple of machines. Oh, I meant to upgrade these to turn ingots into plates. Um, we already had the requests for ingots here. I removed the steel one because we're not going to see any more steel ingots. And then I added iron and copper plate requests. We already have a steel plate request, as you can see. Oh, that's not steel plate, but that is. Oh, wow. The bots are struggling to keep up with emptying all of this. Okay, I should probably look into swarm safety and start accepting. We actually need utility science packs for swarm safety. Oh, we never need anything else for it. In the last version, this was literally just yellow and green science. But for this, we need two kinds of space science. But yeah, um... We could have... Let's see. Up to 500 active logistic bots per researched level. So it won't affect how many of them crash if we go above 50 logistic bots, but we could have up to a thousand if we just spend 500 science on this. I think it might be time. Time to stop having a bot attrition count of zero. Because... damn. Look at that. Uh, let's see. Logibots. Are we making those here? I don't think... oh yeah, we are. So we need to add about this. Uh, 
this RoboPort right here. We're going to put a filter inserter, read from the bot network, but actually it's robot statistics. Uh, total construction box, we're going to set some arbitrary target. And same goes for logi bots. I think we've already got enough construction bots to be honest. Yeah, 148. That's way more than we need for whatever this is doing. Sometimes. Um, construction bot. Logistic bot. Stack size 1. Uh, set filters blacklist. And we'll have a constant combinator that says gives us an idea of our target. So I think it's negative 49 as opposed to negative 50 here. Because normally it would put exactly one bot in before the blacklist gets set. Hold on, what? Oh, I didn't set this yet. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Uh, okay, total logistic bots, or, yeah, total. And total construction bots. And you can use available if you want it to scale automatically, but this is not that kind of base. Uh, and then blacklist. And then... We already have... Oh crap, I didn't mean to put in the extra Logibots yet, either. Well, they're gonna start crashing probably before Swarm Safety is finished. Unless I can somehow... I don't have the opportunity to pull them out of the network. Okay, we're at 21% on the first Swarm Safety research. I think there's going to be a few explosions here. We've got plenty of repair packs. But yeah, set filters blacklist. Uh, when it puts the first Logibot in, it's going to have a blacklist of Logibot. And then we say add 49 more by putting in a negative. Okay. We've got tons of cargo rocket sections. Oh. Uh, this should probably be green so we can tell what we've got. And then this should probably limit itself. Uh, probably just to just a few, to be honest. Because it only takes a moment to unpack them. Yeah. Did we get our... Wait, didn't we... Oh, wait, it was this rocket that's sending the cargo rocket silos. Almost finished loading them, too. Uh, maybe I should bring some more bots. I've already got some spares, but... I definitely don't mind having extra spares. Udbrot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You said Pact should not be in network. Uh, but we're sending them... Maybe I changed my mind before. Uh, we're sending them based on how many packed we have. Oh, packed should... It should be packed in the rail network, not unpacked in the... Not rail network. I'm going to repack these real quick. And... Oops. 
That way, the system isn't going to be trying to send quite so many. Green chest? That should not be in network. Yeah, I, I don't know, I was probably thinking of that before... Before I decided to send quite so many packed ones based on the signal. I think. Okay, it's not as fast as I thought it would be. Let's repack these as quick as we can. Before we end up sending infinite cargo rocket sections. Uh, and yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna unpack them unless we don't have many. Green chest for transmitter. What do you mean by that? Okay. Can we do that copper mine? Where's our train? Here we go. Probably ready to do this. Wait, let's check it has rail. It has plenty of rail. Uh, inactivity. Does, does it have enough robo-charge, I wonder? Not going to be easy to check until... Oh, here we go. That was easier than expected. Yeah, it should be fine. And then path over here. As soon as we can. Fantastic. Damn it, I wanted inactivity. Oh wow, the bots have that much reach. That's good. That's what you said yesterday. They interfere with the constant combinator and you send exponentially more. Um, so the, let's look at the way we're doing this from scratch. Um, we're sending a signal of 500 cargo rocket sections packed. For these high volume items, we're asking for 500 stacks so that when we get low enough on something, uh, or some combination of things, the cargo rocket will get full and will auto launch. We won't be wasting inventory space. Um, if we don't read... Oh. Yeah, no, I definitely want to change the way we're doing that this time. Because if we don't read the packed cargo rocket sections in the robot network... It's going to think, oh, I have to send more, I have to send more, I have to send more. It's also going to take up a lot of space. Not to mention the fact that we're going to run out of space anyway, assuming it can go fast enough. Um, this way, the signal transmitter is aware of how many ca packed cargo rocket sections we've actually got. And the loader on the other end can start putting in different resources before the packed cargo rocket sections. Yeah, see that? The the signal, as we repack them, the signal for how many we're asking for here is going down. I might have said something backward yesterday. I don't know. It's entirely possible. Alright, um... 
I guess send more huge storage tanks. Is that all we have? Okay, never mind. How about... Four belts? Let's see how that goes. Logistic storage is all over the place. Oh, there we go. We're full. That'll do. Hagen orbit is not where we're going. Glad I didn't launch there. Grana small. We need a little bit more fuel. There we go. And away we go. And then let's... Uh, Cancel all these requests for now. So hopefully we didn't forget anything too important. Um, but that will... That should allow us to build quite a bit here. Oh, and it actually didn't miss the cargo landing pad. Will miracles never cease? Okay. Um, I think the stack inserter and our bots keep up pretty... No, we've got... 50 bots can keep up with a lot more than the stack inserter. Why don't we do... Why don't we do a active provider like this? Seems good. We might need some more storage space. Even with only 50 bots, they can move stuff really quite fast, as long as it's a short distance. Oh, we have storage space up here, I forgot. That's fine. Okay. And what about our cargo rocket silo? Now I can actually build this properly. Right, we need green wire connecting these, this, and this. We need these two and these two connected to LTN. We need settings. We need power. And a substation down here wouldn't hurt. And then... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, this one's going to be for coal. No, what are we What are we delivering? No, oh, bad, 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 bad. Altency. Altency. Okay, thankfully I left a gap there already. Related. I think this one, it's actually hard to tell which one it's going for. No path, okay. How about you go here instead? And there's probably another one doing the same thing. No path. 
Wait, that's all of our... That, that's both of our... Um... Oh, this one's right. Alright, cool. Did I turn this off? No, but that's fine. I was going to say that's both of our cargo trains, but actually one of them was liquid. Oh, we got swarm safety. Fantastic. Alright, so we can limit this to 500. Five hundred logi bots. The fact that they limit the robo ports to only three stacks of bots is pretty annoying, honestly. Doesn't really add anything. Just makes it harder to put bots in and out to manage like this. That's the end of our proper ingots already. No, it isn't. Oh yeah, it's basically the end of them. Uh, stack threshold, drop it to one. Okay. And this is going to aim itself at... Do I have a cargo landing pad here? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. We were putting it in this wagon. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about pad can go here. Fantastic. What else are we trying to load here? Chemical plants. Not enough root. Oh. Picked up random stuff. there's your problem. We haven't finished this build yet. I kind of forgot. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. Don't empty just yet. Just go and build as much of this as you can. As long as you've got enough rail, it shouldn't be an issue. How, how much rail do we have? so hard to see. Oh no. Oh no. Can we follow it? That might be a good idea. Too late. Rail 1.4k. Okay, cool. The bots are not delivering the rail. They should be. We've got bots, we've got roboports that are not uncharged. Oh. Oh, we have done that much. The map lied to me again. Okay, that's fine. Bring it down here. And as soon as it's built that far, uh, I guess come up here. See if it can reach. I think it can. All of this. Yep, 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 we're good. Should be able to go back home after this as well. Oh, I haven't planned out our uh, tests yet. Alright, so loader, like this. What have we got here? Three belts, perfect. And over here as well. Don't tell me we're short. We don't have underground belts. Figures. Uh, it's actually more than it was carrying. So we might not have run out. 
Okay, uh, may as well wait on planning out the rest of that. This goes here. These two are gonna look a little something like this, I think. So close. What are those bots? Oh, the train just got back. Okay. Um, I might have to empty it again at this rate. Seems like you always need to wait for bots, indeed. Alright. Uh, I think I stopped asking for medium poles a while ago because problems should be asking for furnaces as well we've got hundreds of those yep we're good for furnaces okay how's this build looking Cargo rocket sections. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, I see the problem. Um, yeah, I should probably just set this to only request one now that we're doing more than one cargo rocket in this area. Whoops. Well, that'll probably sort itself out. Yeah, so we're just requesting one cargo rocket at a time. One cargo rocket section for each of these. Or I could set it as a requester chest so that, uh, so that we don't know how many we've got. as far as this logic down here is concerned. That seems good. We can have a little buffer here. Alright, so that just leaves a space capsule. Do we really not have the space capsules? Wait, what? Oh, they're still in here. Oh, there's only one in here. Hold on, what? Space capsule? There's 30 space capsules here. 48. Logistic storage, 31. Well, this doesn't need to... Oh, this again. Right, there's only two here. That should probably be a requested chest again. Alright, so just one request from buffers, just in case. RIP. Fantastic. Now we're just going to have to do a receiver for coal on Hagen. Hagen. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to make that first. And we're going to set it to launch on cargo full when we're ready. Alright, speaking of ready, let's get our train, move it over here, and hopefully uh, we'll need some power for our mines, and I'll wait till everything else is built before... Powering up the bulk rail loaders. Actually, maybe I should have powered the mine last. Let's do that. Because I don't want the uh, 
the train picking up copper. What are we missing up here? Nothing. Good. Alright, now go home. Fantastic. Could have trimmed this actually. Change station to pickup, indeed. Finite pickup. We can do all. Oh. I was going to say we can do all of that manually, but actually there's a constant combinator missing. God damn it. Okay. Uh, inactivity, five, 15 seconds just in case of the weirdly slow bot reactions. And we literally just need this combinator delivered. And that's it. Back you go. Get rid of the temp stop. Wait, no, no, come back again. Oh no, oh no. There's at least one belt that's not moving. Uh, let's see. Where should this go? It's going to be about the same anyway, but I think I'll do it this way. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven belts in motion. We've actually got the reach to trim this stuff that I wanted to get rid of before. And we'll take back some of our undergrounds. Fantastic. Alright, I think this time it's finished. Belt is not connected, indeed. Two bots stuck that at the new mining outpost. Yeah, they're waiting for room in some of the cargo wagons. Um, so once the train goes back to the emptier... Um, They'll start going back. Yep, there it is. Fantastic. Alright, uh, what's next? We need to actually build our, our mine. Or coal. Preferably more than one. We can do that over here. Uh, I think that was north-south, despite the appearance. Yeah. Alright, so this goes this way. I forgot about this coal mine that we didn't quite finish properly. Looks like it's functional anyway. I clearly haven't set a request for coal up here. So let's go. Uh, we've got room for eight train loads in here. 40 times 2 times 50 times 8 is 32k. Let's say 30,000. And we should see a delivery for that pretty quick. Alright, cool. And let's do another couple of coal mines down here. Maybe with a shared pickup, because this is kind of scraggly. How many belts do I have? 
So I should have checked before. Alright, we've got lots of blue underneath these now. I can definitely make this mine properly. Is that forty two? It's okay on the map. Is this covered? I think it actually is, believe it or not. Need more medium poles. And then over here. Something a bit like this. Let's actually let me direct it southward. That's going to be neater. I think we do need one here. This is a mess. Shouldn't mean, uh, need that many drills to make this happen. Seems okay. And there's just a little bit down here. Okay. Saying this as I'm cutting leather for pockets? Not sure if I understand. All right, let's bring in a bulk rail loader right about here, I think. Delivery cannon chest because it's three by three. It's going to load into both of those. And then. Something like this. How many belts do we have over here? Three. So... Like that. And like this. And... Oh, I love that reach on the blues. Okay, and then we've got uh, just two more belts over here, actually. It's going to be pretty easy. And then on the other side, one, two, three, four belts. Throughput's probably going to be nothing like four belts, though. It's barely more than one belt. I might just merge it into one belt, because the full one belt of outfit here is going to last like two seconds. Uh, how about we do it this way? Oh, that's an iron mine. Uh, rare metals, actually. I don't think we're going to bother mining rare metals on this planet. So that's probably fine. Let's bring this down like so. And filter... 
Uh, I guess you could do it that way. Railguns on the left. What is that structure on the rail? Structure on the rail. Do you mean this thing? Or... Oh, you mean the bulk rail loader? Right next to you, yeah. Uh, bulk rail loader. It's, uh... Very effective at loading or unloading exactly one type of resource at a time. I mean, with the unloaders, we can do multi -res uh, resources, but. But yeah, with the bulk rail loaders, it's just going to be one resource in. Very handy at keeping the entity count down with train stations. Alright, and then we're just going to have one more belt. Something like this. And like so. Okay. Let's go get more medium pulse and blue underground belt and let's double check what else basically nothing okay super nice indeed data known good to see you again Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And a little birdie. Welcome, welcome also. Uh, what are we looking for? Medium power poles. Are we not requesting those? I'm sure we are. We don't have any more. How many poles is this? 24. Um, pop, uh, oh, here we go. I could use the autocrafter for that, but there's a prerequisite issue. Uh, what else? Blue underground belts? Probably more than what we're requesting right now would be good. That's all of them. And then... I think that was basically everything. How goes the run? Pretty good, I think. Uh, we sort of stalled a bit, but I like how neatly everything is getting set up here. Uh, okay, let's go get our second coal mine finished down here. Or number two and three, I suppose. What do we got? 1.7 mil, 5.9 mil, and 441k. That's going to go back to Hagen. Fantastic. And I just got so used to worrying about the construction train getting resources dropped into it um, that I sort of thought about that for a second. But luckily we need not worry about any such thing right now. Can we not... Okay, there we go. Like that. And like that. Well, I'm not actually using this rail or anything just yet, so I may as well get rid of that. And 
we're just going to do signals uh, like so. That should be fine. Let's get a substation up here. Big pole. And... More big poles. Does your train have equipment grid? Yes, it does. It actually comes with, I think it's Crestorio 2. Um, that we can put 6x16 six uh, power armor things into our trains. So this one has some um, robo ports. Damn, that's handy, indeed. Yeah, we've actually got... Uh, we're a long way off Spidertrons, but... I've got a train system here that automatically gets loaded with specific stuff for construction. Loving the big chests for things like this as well. Okay, is our mine active? It is. Not over here, though. What the? Oh, right. Just barely reaches. And here as well. Fantastic. Give me those undergrounds back. I think I already did that down here. Alright, cool. So that's our call. And name that all mine. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure, but I'll just double check. I did set this to be a finite uh, copper mine. Oh. Judging by the amount of copper accumulated here. Yeah, either our trains are not keeping up or we've got enough copper. It looks like it's the latter. At least enough copper for our smelters, anyway. Judging by the fact that green circuits are going strong. And red circuits are going strong. Uh, we're probably fine there. Do the same, but then I have to go build it. <laughs> Indeed. You get compliments for your voice usage and output settings that they are great. Uh, indeed. This this does happen. Not so much for the uh, audio settings, but I've tried to set them up well. I, I don't really know much about... Uh, is this moving? Yeah, it is. GF is listening and saying you are one of the streamers with a good voice slash sound settings. Well, thank you. Very glad to hear it. I do try my best to give people a nice, chill uh, stream. So I do appreciate that. Okay. Uh, we are... I could probably go to the trouble of making another coal mine before I go. It's, there's 9.5 million right here. Lurker friendly stream, indeed. Yeah, uh, this is going to sound a bit self-congratulatory uh, given the context, but like... 
I, I really appreciate the stream that's good to listen to as well. Uh, a lot of the time that I'm a technically a viewer of a stream, I'm just listening to it and occasionally I'll check in visually. Uh, awesome, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I really wish Twitch had a way to hear the output levels with a press of a button or something. I mean, something like OBS probably... You, you can definitely like record it and check it out off stream, but like, I get what you mean, real time, right? Watching you makes me wish I could get my brain doing K2SE again. It's a pretty big commitment, but yeah, it's pretty fun. Glenn Denny, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Gagaheim, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Also, I did spot that name in base. Let's see. Uh, Motherboard Hugo. Welcome, welcome. Also, uh, Hugo. Where are we going to fit you in? Over here. That's actually pretty good. Imagine T Hex playing CSGO. Uh, not my style of FPS. I was into the old arena shooters. Most modern shooters are way too sluggish for me. Uh, thought you were on the Ash Planet at the time I claimed it? Wait, what? Ash Planet. Currently in the pro uh, process of pushing the biters back, Operation the Great Expansion. Take some. It, it can take some time, depending on your settings and stuff. While you're here, can you fix Repetitive Beats' name? Oh, Repetitive. Uh-oh. Uh, is this right? Repetitive Beats. Yeah, there we go. Good catch, thank you. Snowball, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm already on this planet. I thought you were on the one with Vulcanite. Uh, yeah, I'm just remote controlling some stuff on Hagen, which is our main base. The Vulcanite one, despite the amount of infrastructure we've built, uh, we're actually kind of doing the minimum to just get core fragments off planet but while we're at it, since there's so, so much more coal here than on Hagen, I'm also setting up a rocket for coal. I have nuclear artillery. Wow. I think that's in K2, right? PC ducks and my? Wait, what's wrong? Did you want a longer name, Vlad? Like the numbers as well? What's wrong with PC ducks? PC, PC, oh, there's, a, there's an I in there. Whoops. Not sure, but like SEK2, okay. Nuclear artillery is nice, specifically the true nukes mod. That sounds scary. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what's next? Uh, I was going to say maybe I should take a little break. I'm starting to blank a bit. But we're getting pretty... We're getting kind of close to the end of the stream, so... I think we'll just continue. Uh, let's see. We're looking for... 49k iron plate? That doesn't sound right. How much iron plate is here? 59. Okay, I thought we sent a lot of iron plate earlier. Did did we not? We sent like 5k iron plate or so when we launched that last rocket, I think. Did we really use it already? Uh... 
Did I hear words? Uh, not quite. I guess I could do a quick words, otherwise... Other, otherwise, like, the last half hour is gonna be a bit... Uh... Sleepy? That's not quite the word I'm looking for. Alright, we'll do a quick words, just like two levels tops. True nukes added in the stuff from the mod Mushroom Cloud. Makes the nukes look pretty. It's <laughs> one way to put it. Then I added nukes that were more realistic size. That makes the PC cry, <laughs> indeed. Alright. Uh, we'll do some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a couple of minutes or so. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Okay, nicely done. I actually kind of forgot a little bit, uh, but we already set up everything to completely automate uh, Core Fragment Vulcanite arriving on 
on Hagen. And here it is. We've already done it. Uh, what I'd like to do next, though, is set up a... I guess I could use this design. I was going to say I'd, I'd like to set up a receiver for coal. Um, I don't see any reason I can't steal this part. Since we're going to want to do the exact same thing, but with a slightly different filter. Uh, so where would be best to put coal? Probably right next to... Um, Coke, right? That's going to be by far the highest throughput consumer of it overall. Have you also moved off Nalvis full time? Indeed. Uh, the uh, our main base is Hagen. Um, I've been meaning to go back to Nalvis, but like less and less because we don't really need it at this stage. I mean. I'll tap it for, I'll tap it for core fragments, um, I'll, I'll send resources from here to Hagen, but like, now this is basically an outpost at this point, even though the base is bigger, because we had to do a bunch of stuff to get, you know, to be ready to go to space and stuff. Corner above coke? Yeah, I was thinking that. I could do a belt going straight to the input for coke as well if I really wanted to, but I don't really see the need. I can't think what else consumes coal. Um, I think it's literally nothing in the rail blocks, unless you count them all. So we'll probably... Oh, uh, Sulphur. Sulphur uses coal, right? No, Sulphur... Sulphur is water and petroleum. Plastic. Plastic uses coal, and it's very close to the same stuff. Okay. In that case... Wait, what? We're short on sulfuric acid. Uh, why are we short on sulfuric acid? Because we're short on sulfur. Because we're short on petroleum gas. That makes sense. Alright, I think maybe here... Uh, we'll basically copy this layout. Except, like, this might be good. And then we'll have to change... Oh, I'll have to be careful, actually. I'm going to turn off auto-launch for a Vulcanite core fragment. Uh, just to make absolutely sure. I think if I just queue this, delete that, and put it back, it'll give it a default name. So that also would probably prevent an accidental launch to that cargo pad. Uh, one thing I'm forgetting, though, is we sort of need robo-networks. In case the ship crashes. Was there something marked for deconstruction in the mall? I think that might have been... Oh, because robots are crashing. We actually can recycle, to some extent, the crashed robots. Four destroyed logistic bots and one repair pack makes... We, we can either give them a flying robot flame, advanced, advanced circuit, and a repair pack. Uh, and we'll get a Logi Balkan. Okay, I'm really not liking how... Holy crap. Oh, no. I'm, 
really not liking how often the bots are crashing. How many have we got? Less than 200. What? Bot interference wind. 10.6 not oh crap. It's 10 times worse than Nalvis. Okay. I think... I think we're not going to do big bot builds uh, on this planet. Yeah, we're just going to... We're just not going to put any more in until they're down to 50. Um, I don't really have a way to save the rest of them right now. Let's see. Active provider, filter, logi bots. Hurry up, construction bots. Where are you? How do we have all of our... Oh, all of our construction bots are busy? Really? Didn't we have like 200 or something? Why do we only have 55 construction bots? Mistakes were made, indeed. Alternative would be to turn down robot attrition, which is what I did for my current run. Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of my fault for not looking at the robot interference wind. I think I still would have set up on this planet. But, yikes. This one's 0.5. Aren't they floating there with items? Uh, the construction bots? They might be. Oh, crap. Um, does that mean we can't put down more storage? Oh, no. Uh... I think I'm gonna have to go over there to fix this. Okay. Let's hurry up and get this... whole rocket sorted out. I'm just not going to worry about the possibility of crashes for the moment. Let's get this built as quickly as possible. Alright, inactivity... I don't know, one minute? Construction train? Yeah, I'm sending the construction train up here to make the, the coal drop-off. And I'm going to ride the rocket back. So I can go and fix that directly. Alright, so this is going to be called... Uh, coal... And that's it. Maybe a space. And we're going to aim this at Hagen, Cole. Uh, this one can be auto launch again. And this one can be auto launch. And away we go. construction train to the mall. I'll be there in a sec anyway. I want to come back to Hagen. Are you shipping core fragments instead of processing them locally? Yes. Processing them locally is a ginormous pain. Um, and, and it's not that much better in terms of stack size, even early on, um, to process them on site. Okay. Alright, Daddy's here. <laughs> I'm sorry, my little ones. I was trying to set this up so that we could filter out the Logi bots whenever they came back, but... There's pretty much a zero that we can pick up from the Roboports anyway. Alright, let's make some room in our inventory. And that's just going to aggravate even more Logibots, I guess. 
really wish I'd paid attention to that robot interference wind. Rip bots. But yeah, there's two things we can do with uh, the destroyed logistic bots. Why can't I click on this? Oh, there's no way to build. Left click does nothing because there's no way to build destroyed logistic bots. We can put them in the crusher. We don't want to do that. We can give them a repair pack and four of them become a new logistic bot. Or we can make a new logistic bot with a 25% chance of getting the flying robot frame back. Uh, flying robot frame, advanced circuit repair pack, as opposed to flying robot frame and two advanced circuits. Uh, and it's not like you can gamble and come out of head or anything like that, because uh, when you see percentage chances like this, in Factorio, it will absolutely give you exactly that with a sufficient sample size um, consistently. Is that an extra mod, or was Robot Attrition updated to include that? Uh, I think it's just SE.6 and or K2 is what I thought that was, but I guess Robot Attrition could have done it. Robot Attrition is just part of SE. Uh, it's one of the required mods. It's normally disabled, the robot repair option, is it? I didn't know that. So does that mean the robot attrition is going to be the same in Hagen Orbit? Robot interference radiation, 1.82. So that's like twice as bad as Nalvis. Oh! Robot interference in orbit of Hagen is way less bad than it is in Nalvis orbit. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, so far, it's the best one. For Orbit, we picked the best one for bot interference. Interesting. But... I think, um... Hmm. I would, I would really like to try to do logistic bot networks only up to 50 and have zero bot deaths. And if we need, like, higher throughputs from the bots, we just try making sure they always have very, very short trips. But I don't know how feasible that'll be. Some people feel it's useful, some just don't bother setting up the repair lines. I mean, it's definitely not difficult, especially with the auto crafters, but yeah, I can get that. I mean, I don't know, if you... If you just want to be lazy about it, do the one that only uses repair packs. Wish there was an official way to completely turn off attrition once you hit a certain research level. Yeah, I, I'm incredibly disappointed that, like, swarm safety is literally just... The bots don't damage things when they crash. Wow, thanks. I'm glad... Glad I researched that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad we found a way for the bot swarms to be safe. Oh, wait. <laughs> I want them to crash less with that research. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So... We've got our coal. Coming in from... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Everything but coal in here, please. Uh, yeah, we, but we've got our coal coming in from the Vulcanite planet. We've got 
Vulcanite core fragments coming in from the Vulcanite planet, which was the main reason we went there. The coal is a nice bonus. It's a very nice bonus, actually, on Hagen. And we're just going to set this to coal provider. Um, it does come from a finite resource, I guess. So we definitely don't want to trash that. And let me just do long trains for this one. At what point is it better to just extract everything from core miners? Versus finding actual resource veins on a planet? You'd need a lot of core... Depending on the throughput that you're aiming for, you'd need a lot of core, fra uh, core miners. But I intend to aim for just that, because I, I really don't find building this over and over again to be the best part of the game. Um, strangely enough, I, I think uh, there are more interesting things in Factorio than rebuilding mines over and over. It's not as bad, because we've got the... Um, Bulk rail loaders taking from delivery cannon chests, taking from express loaders that uh, doing a bunch of loaders going straight into a container deals with all of the messy balancing and stuff. Yeah, you'd need a lot of core mining setup to go fast, but um, if you just because they get diminishing returns, if you're willing to do a few core mining drills on a lot of planets, which I am, uh, it, it works out. Especially if you exploit the, uh, whatchamacallit, the anomaly. Uh, spoilers for kind of secret special stuff. Uh, the... You, you you go to an anomaly later on, which is equidistant to every destination in space. Or at least every solar system, every, uh, every asteroid field, and so on. So, if we want to go to from Calidus to, I don't know, one of these stars, it's about the same distance as if we want to go to the furthest star in the cluster. Um, and it's actually such a short distance that the distance that it takes a spaceship to go from Hagen orbit to interstellar map um, compared to going to Nalvis from the interstellar map, that is actually an enormous difference in the travel distance if we use this uh, if we use this anomaly to cut down our travel distance. What the spoil? What? Besides, I did. I, I played with Phone Estra last playthrough. Um, but yeah. Um, you know. I, I don't see just a mine when I look at these. I, I think temporary mine. Um, and I'm. I try to keep them to a minimum insofar as that's possible. Uh, but yeah, that is coal sorted out for a good while. We've got our vulcanite core fragments, which we will begin to break down and exploit tomorrow. And I didn't copy this part before. Let's put this... Oh, I did, actually. So we can allow short trains here. Um, I think I need to filter coal here. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, while we're here still... Well, not still, we just came back to Hagen. Uh, but while we are on Hagen... Let's go ahead and... Fill out these names. Probably more than I have enough, uh, what are they called? Uh, enough plates for, actually. 
Do I have some glass? I have a little bit of glass. Small text plate. We can do another 59. Where's the nearest glass? Probably here still? Maybe? Oh, wow. We've actually emptied almost everything from this robot network here to give to the mall. I wasn't quite expecting that. Alright then. Let's grab some glass and come back and finish these nameplates. And then we'll find someone to raid for today. Please check Big Iron Mine in the middle. Big Iron Mine in the middle. This one? Or this one? I think we've probably... Yes, we have. We can finally put down our core mining drill. Probably. Um, no, I have to get rid of this belt. There's still a few drills using this belt, but I really want to get this out of the way so we can put the coal mining drill down. Alright, where's glass? Here it is. Give me some glass. Give me some small text plates. think something isn't connected. Alright, we'll have a look in a sec. This one? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, this one straight up doesn't have a connection. What are these for? Oh, because we're trying to prioritize this one. It's slowing down the mine quite a bit, actually. Hmm. I probably, probably should have used splitters to do priority input there. Alright, where's our text plates? We only made 200 so far. Okay. Let's go fix this real quick. That's not the one we're fixing. We're out of blue belt. Blue underground belt. Uh, okay. I don't have any underground belt, actually. It's fine. We'll fix this a bit later. Let's find who... Uh, let's find out who we're raiding today. We have... Quite a few choices today, actually. There's only one person doing SEK2, probably. Um... Any percent speed run? Socials, YouTube, Discord. Oh, uh, YT is the YouTube. Or not? I thought I had a YouTube link here. I think if you scroll down, you can see it. Have a good one. Silent Storm, take care. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I've rated Andy quite a bit at the end of a SEK2 stream. I think we'll spread the love a little bit. Gamer's Circle I've rated a few times. Let's have a peek at this one. I'll just double check that we can actually chat in here. Fantastic. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Diablo, take care as well. Veldak, Dardano, thanks for hanging out. Hose. And uh, we'll continue tomorrow with uh, more space exploration. Evil Pla, Herbful Good, take care. King Fnerb, Neb, thanks for hanging out. Awesome Cat, take care. Vlad, 
I didn't say flat already. Yeah, I said I didn't say flat yet. Okay. <laughs> Alright, away we go to say hello to a speedrunner. Hopefully don't distract them too much, I guess. Uh, Crackers, thank you for the follow. Cheap Seema, take care. doop doop See you, Valdak. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son! Oh, 